Hello, how are you guys? Uh, what, is, what day is today? Uh, happy Wednesday. I'm glad you guys are here. I hope we're gonna have a good night. Uh, what I wanna say, hello, uh, Maurice. It's, uh, you guys know already, it's 3 a.m. out here, but we're here, so I'm excited. Um, who said 666 again? I'm taking bets. You're already taking bets on something bad. Mm. All right, so let me see, guys. If you want to come and talk to Jasmine, this is uh, what you do. Uh, let me see. You either send me an email at medimonaco1 at gmail.com or you just uh, help yourself and you click the link in the description of the video and you can come and join us. All right. Um, so Jasmine is not here yet. I realized that I made a mistake in the, in the, in the time that I put. So I hope you guys are still going to pull up and realize like, yo, it's, it is tonight. She just messed up the time, but it's at the same time that it is usually. Um, hey, Shushu. Um, who is here? Chemistry here. Frank Woody Wood. Hello, Mr. Humble. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. I haven't been to bed yet. I didn't sleep all day today. So it's a long as day. Um, I really need to change internet provider. Why, Kevin? Me or, or, hey, it's for two shows. I'm going to Switzerland and London, so it's not going to be, I'm going to have better internet. It's my mom. Like, my mom's internet is not the best. So let me see. Um, let me see. Well, I saw her here at six, so even if she got the link and the link was a little messed up, you know, um, I think she's she's gonna put like we're gonna give her some time. I'm gonna send some invites. Yo, I've been running so much, like it's been a long, long day. Um hey friend Senfield. Well, thank you. Talking about I'm starting to think it might be too good to be true. Hey, hey, hey. Uh hey Ming W, Alex, um, hey Daniel, yes. Danielle is a, a lady and she's here on the show. I'm excited. You know, we're, we're getting some more ladies around here. We're trying. Um, let me see. Somebody sent me a, a DM. No, that's not her. Okay. Um, the internet is working fine. I hope so. It, it started fine last uh, on Monday and then it was a little shaky. Oh, somebody say, don't look as bad as last time. Okay, well. Thank you. I hope it stays like this. You know, I think it's when the room gets a little crowded, when it's a lot of people trying to talk to, to the guests, it gets a little, um, a little hard. But I think it's, it's fine for, it's just not fine on me, but on the two other people, it's fine. So, so we don't care if we don't see me. You know, it's only for one more time. Um, hey, the Weep con Connoisseur, talking about first time actually sliding in here, trying to see what's shaking, shaking finally. Well, we we are gonna see. Okay, guys. Oh, I'm happy you guys are saying the internet is good. Maybe because I'm just by myself here for now. But we're we're gonna see how that's gonna go. I'm gonna send her uh, a little uh, a little DM because I'm like a lady. Let's go. Uh, somebody said many days. No way you can find a good husband. You're right. I hope he will come. He'll come soon. Tonight. Not tonight, but sometime soon. Uh all right. What what else I want to tell you while we're waiting? Um I don't know. Did you get my gift? I don't know. I didn't go check, I think, before I left. So oh my god, you guys are out of control talking about Medi. She's looking for her best wig. I don't know if she wears wigs. Yeah, so so we're gonna see. I just DM'd her. Oh, she just saw it, so she should be in here in a minute. Guys, if you want to come, you send me an email at medimonaco1 at gmail.com, or you just um you just help yourself. There's a link in the description of this video, and we're gonna see what's up. What else? Let me see. I'm inviting some people right now. I've been all over that I forgot to send the people who send me an email to send them an email. So I'm doing that. 
right now. Let's see, I sent it. So we should be good. People should come now. Um, Melly, yes, Melly, we want to talk to you after the show. Uh, we're going to see because, hey, it's going to be late. And, you know, we're going to try. Uh, hey, uh, Jermaine is here. Ron, what's up? Mr. Blake, Tree Snacks, hello. Shahwan, the girl looking nice, though. Yeah, she is really, uh, really looking nice tonight. I mean, I always feel like I'm getting you some uh, good looking girls. But, uh, uh, shit. Let me see. I don't know. Okay, we're going to see. Uh, hello, Trevor. Rachel, what's up? Uh, she likes the braid. They look good. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I was trying to go home and not think about worrying about my hair. We want to meet your mom. You guys are out of control. Well, you won't meet her right now. Like, she's in the next room, sleep. So, uh, during the day, I'll, I'll post her on Instagram or some shit. Uh, are they your real eyes? Luis, yes, they are. Uh, Pinario talking about another 666 tonight chat. No, I mean, I don't know. I know Jasmine a little bit, so we're going to see what what she wants, what she's looking for. I know her a little bit. I met her like a couple of times, but she seems like a really nice girl. So, so we're going to see. Okay. So she saw my message and she didn't respond. So I hope she's coming. Man, you're wanted knowledge. Me, I'm speaking real shit. I don't know what you're saying. Okay. How is Paris? Somebody asked. Uh, Paris is great. It's, uh, I mean, the, the jet lag or the time difference got me, so I sleep whenever I can. But I've been trying to hang out with my friends, with my family. So, you know, it's a lot of um, sleeping when I can, a lot of naps. And uh, sometime, like, after the show the other day, I couldn't even sleep until it was, like, 6, 7 in the morning and then waking up at 10. It's just, it's just all over. So, but, yeah. What's her Instagram? Well, we're going to wait until she's here so I can send you her Instagram. Because, you know, uh, she don't show up. We're like, yeah, I don't know. It's some, okay, Danielle talking about she better hurry up or I'm going to have to take her place. Danielle, don't be, uh, she, Danielle was like, laugh out loud. We're not joking. If she don't show up, it's you. You're going to have to pull up. Um, who else is here? Talk about the French guys you meet. I haven't met any French guys. I've been out with my friends, really, so it's not... I haven't met any new guys. Sorry. Dwayne is asking, what time is it? It's 3.08 right now in the morning. Hey, Shana. Yes. Ça va, merci. Somebody's talking about, can we meet tonight? I don't think so. Uh, we're here. I mean, we, you can come meet me online. We can do that. Let me see. People keep on asking me, Melly, uh, did you sign the MTR NDA? I don't know if you guys saw the, the live I had with MTR. And uh, he was telling me, if I want to date him, I need to sign a NDA. I, I refused. So no, I, I did not sign the uh, NDA. Uh, let me see. Melly was curving everyone in the club. No, I wasn't. They were not talking. Melly, I will treat you how a sick man treats a lemon. Squeeze, roll you in, suck you. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know about that. When are you meeting Come to Daddy? Well, Come to Daddy lives in uh, Kenya. I'm not taking a, a trip to Kenya right now. Uh, thank you. Somebody saying uh, shout out to you for staying true to the time in a different country. Of course, like, I mean, you guys are my audience. And I think if I change the time, it's going to be a little weird for you. So I prefer to to deal with it. And because, uh, I mean, who is going to deal with that? If I put it at six here, it's morning time for you guys. Nobody's coming. Um, well, I don't know. She's not responding, so she's worrying me. Like, seriously, if she's not coming, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be upset because I talked to her the whole day and she was like, yeah, I'm coming. Um, 
Right there, her hello. She's seeing the, the, the message. Guys, well, we're, we're gonna try. She needs to be coming. Yeah, we're, we're, we're waiting. We are. Hey, if she don't come, that's a sign. We were not supposed to have the, the show for tonight, which is uh, pretty crazy because everybody is here. Baby girl, look wide awake too. Love it, Melly. Yeah, I haven't slept yet, so that's probably why I, I didn't take naps today. She got nervous, Melly. She got a booty call. You guys be finding excuses. She's getting ready. Well, well, she knew what time we were doing it, so I hope she is already ready. Um, but we have Danielle on deck. So, Danielle, uh, if, if you want to come, you come now. Danielle just talking shit, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, so David talking about, Melly, we wanted to tell your mom how great you are doing in the USA. I think she knows, I think. <laughs> Uh, are we getting stood up once again? Pinaredo, stop it. Um, I hope not. I hope she's coming. Yeah, she's not here yet. Oh, really? Melly, come in, uh, come in London. I'm going to spoil you. What are we going to do if I come to London? I bet she got time confused. I don't know. I told her 6 p.m., so... Let me see. No, that's not her. Um, yo, guys, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna see. Oh my God, you guys talking about what uh, Jasmine is doing right now. She's coming, relax. Oh, so. <laughs> You say, Melly, fuck MTR, go with my man, Finesse. I don't know. Why you guys want me to go with people that are online? How about I just get a regular man? Like, when I say regular, somebody that's not on the on the social platform shit. She's shy. I don't know. But if she's on the East Coast, she's not on the East Coast. She's uh, She's in LA. So she knows. We're going to see. I don't know. Guys, we try. Yeah, 13 minutes. She hasn't said nothing. She saw my DM. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Somebody say I got some girl for you. Somebody that can come in right now. Because at this point, uh, I'm starting to think she's st uh, standing us up. Danielle. Yeah, Danielle. Danielle was talking. Where you at, girl? Somebody again. Troy the God, Melly, you a fraud and you don't got a husband. What the fuck? We need your advice. So why are you here? That, that's all I'm going to say. Leave. You don't got to be here. Yeah. I'm getting nervous. And she saw my message too. Why is she be looking at my message and not responding? That's fucked up. I'm starting to feel like, yo. Is she serious? Jasmine, you're gonna do this like that? Mm mm mm. Melly got left on red. I sure did twice. That's crazy. I'm speechless. Because it's one thing if she don't see my messages, but she's seeing them and not coming. Mm 
-hmm. Guys, we're not gonna stay. I'm gonna go to sleep early, I guess, tonight. Let's see. Oh, wait, she says sorry. Don't tell me, I didn't see the whole message. She said sorry, what? Oh, she's logging on. <laughs> Guys, she's coming. Okay. Well, okay. We're saved. Danielle was just talking shit. You guys talking about bring on Danielle. Danielle's still not here. Let me see. Daquan is here. Okay. Shannon, hello. Let me see. Melly, I like women that are on time. Now we see why she's... Stop it. You're going to see her. She's going to be nice. And you guys are going to forget that she was late. I hope. I hope. Uh, my camera is fuzzy. Well, guys, I told you already, my internet is not the best. It will be better on Monday. Okay, she's here. I see it. Yes, she's here. Oh my God, I almost killed you, girl. Girl. <laughs> I'm adding you right away. I almost killed you. I was like, she's not coming. And then I have dogs and my dogs, they were being loud. And I'm just like, this is oh, a lot. Right now. This is it's a lot. Fine. We're good. I'm glad you made it. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good, girl. How are you? Okay, I'm good. Okay, so so we're gonna jump right in then because you know my chat is out of control. They've been talking shit. They were like, "Why is she late? Why this? Why that?" You know. So um, so yeah. So would you like to introduce yourself? All right, my name is Jasmine Lewis. I live in LA, California, and yeah, let's do this. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm like I didn't. I'm late, so I didn't get my little prep. So I'm like I don't know what else to say. We just gonna. Okay, would you like to say what you do, what you like to do on your free time? Um, so right now I work in a nightlife. I do do bottle service. I know a lot of people got their whole stereotypes about girls, bottle girls, whatever. But mm -hmm. yeah, so I do bottle service in LA. Um, I work out a lot. I like to go to the gym. I love fitness. Um, I love traveling. I travel all the time. Like that's like my favorite thing to do. Like. I try to travel like every couple months, you know, domestically, internationally, like whatever. Um, what else? I just like to enjoy life. Like, you know, like I don't have kids, you know, I'm single. Like I'm just, you know, I'm living in California. Like I just want to enjoy life, you know, and just, you know. Okay. I guess. Yeah. That's, that's good enough. If there are more questions, they'll ask you. So you, you say you have no kids. Um, do you want any kids? I do want to have kids, but I also like, I'm not into that whole like baby mama thing. Like I don't want to be a baby mama. Like I, I want to like find my person. I want to be married, uh, like have a family, like not just, you know, have kids. Like I want my kids to grow up how I didn't grow up. Like with mom and dad, family, mm -hmm. you know, that whole type of dynamic. So that's true. Yeah. Okay. So since you are single, we're going to try to find you a, a husband. Okay. okay. <laughs> so uh, tell me, what, what are you looking for in a man? So in a man, I need somebody that's confident because like I said, I am in nightlife. I do bottle service. And like, when I was dating, I was coming across men who were not confident and they were insecure about what I did and my job. And it just created problems. So like, I want a man that's secure with himself and also to be able to trust me. Like, that's a big thing. Like, trust is a big mm -hmm. thing, you know, when you're looking for somebody. So somebody that's confident in themselves, someone that's not insecure, someone that has ambition, that has, you know, things going on for themselves. Because like I said, you know, I take care of myself. Like, so I don't want to be with somebody who's going to lower me. Like, I need somebody that's going to be helping me elevate. Like, you know, mm -hmm. something, you know what I mean? So. Okay. What about, okay, physically, what, what are you looking for? Do you have a type? Is there something you So need? my friends laugh at me because they're like, all guys that I've dated, they don't look alike. Like okay. you can't look at a guy and be like, oh, that's her type. Like they're always different. I've dated light-skinned guys. I've dated chocolate guys. 
you know, but I definitely want a guy that's like fit because like I said, I go to the gym. I love going to the gym. I love working out. So I would want a guy that's fit and cares about his body. Like health is so important. So like somebody that, you know, wants to work out and be fit and make sure that they, they look nice, you know? Okay. So, uh, so you prefer a black man? Yes. I've never dated outside my race either. So are you open to it or no? Um, I kind of, I guess. I mean, I've never, I haven't also, I haven't came across someone that has made me like want to date outside of my race either. So, I mean, if I did like come across a person that made me want to like date outside my race, like I'm not. You're not opposed like, to it. Yeah. Okay, cool. How how tall do you want him to be? So I'm five seven. I'm kind of tall for a female. So I would want him to be like at least like five eleven, six foot. Because you know I like to wear heels. I like to be cute. Like I want you mm -hmm. to have it a little bit taller than me. You know. Okay. What about five nine? Uh, that's kind of short to me. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. All right. We're, we're going to try. Uh, what else? How much money does he need to make? Um, I'm not one of those women that's like, he needs to be making millions and this and that. Like, as long as you are making enough to take care of yourself and take care of your lifestyle, because like I said, I take care of myself, but I also travel. I also do all the things that I want to do. So I want a man who has enough money to take care of himself and also have enough money to be in a relationship because men don't be having money to be in a relationship like if you want to be in a relationship have the money to be in a relationship like okay. you know I mean? like go on dates and if i like to travel and i travel by myself without a man i'm gonna need my man to like also want to travel too and like have the funds to do that because mm -hmm. i don't want to downgrade my life of what i'm doing for myself because of somebody else like you know what i mean so as long as he has money to take care of himself you know money to you know put into businesses because that's what i'm looking forward to like my savings that i have to you know open businesses and things like that and to travel and have fun then i feel like okay. be, yeah so when you guys are traveling is he supposed to pay for your travels too or you're paying for yours he's paying for his okay so i've been in certain situations i've been in situations where guys have paid for everything and that's fine. But I've also been in situations like when I was in a relationship, like I would pay some, I would pay for half. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's like when you're in a relationship, you know, that's your partner. So it's okay to like, you know, put mm him -hmm. down in or whatever. So yeah, I mean, but that's also a conversation. That's also a okay. conversation. Like, okay. Would you like to share your age? They're asking. I'm 31. 31. Okay. And uh, what is your age requirements for the guys? What's your window? Um, I would want them to be in their 30s. I, I do not want to date anybody that's younger than me. I've tried dating them younger than me. I'm mm -hmm. just, I want them to be in their 30s or older because, yeah, I don't, okay. I'm a little young Tenderoni. <laughs> Got you. What is the, the max? So 30 to what? Oh, 30 to like, I would say like 30 to like 40 range, a little bit over 40. Like, okay. Yeah. Can, uh, can they have kids? Um, sorry, I have a dog. So he's playing with his bone. That's why you can hear that in the back. Oh, you're fine. Uh, I, I don't usually date guys with kids. Like that's just not my preference. Um, mm -hmm. But if he had a kid, not like, I'm not saying like three, four, five kids, but like if he has a kid, and it's like, you know, him and his baby mama, like they have a good relationship. It's cordial, no drama. Then it's like, okay, that's a healthy relationship. I could do that. Okay. But if he has kids and it's very toxic and drama, like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> can he can he have several baby moms or just one? Yeah, I'm not into that. Nah. I'm not into that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we're gonna we're gonna start. We're gonna see if we can find someone for you. Okay. So, um, just in case you haven't watched the show, I'm going to bring a, a guy at a time. You can talk to them. They're going to ask you questions. You can ask them questions. And if you're not feeling the vibe, like, romantically, you can just say pineapple, and we'll just move on to the next guy. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you.
Let's see who we have uh, first. Hello. Hey, Melly. Hi, Jasmine. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm okay. Yourself? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, um, I'm here that we share something in common. We're both 31. When's your birthday? May 22nd, 1991. May. Your son is? I'm a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> is that true about you? They say about Gemini's? Well, Yo, that is that so? I mean, everybody's crazy, so I'm not about to just sit here and just throw myself <laughs> like that. Like, no, nah, everybody's crazy in their own way, so. Well, I wanted to tell you, for one, our fool that turned cold. You know, I was waiting on the day you showed up late to our date. What's I going on? Yeah, you showed up late. We was all waiting for you. The fool turned cold and everything else. Now, it's, um, it's cool. I ate before I came. We good. <laughs> okay. Well, um, what do you like to do for fun? Um, for fun, I love to travel. Like that's like my favorite thing. Like I love traveling. Getting my passport was like one of my favorite things. Like one of the best things that I've done. Um, traveling. I love fitness. I love working out, hiking, things like that. I know this sounds super corny, but it's true. Um, and I just like to enjoy life, like different things, experience mm. different things. Um. I, I know, like, going to the club, drinking, stuff like that, it's, like, the normal thing. But, like, I also like doing things out of the norm, too. Like, show me something different, you know? I like that. You ever went rock climbing? Um, inside, like, a facility, yes. But, like, actually rock climbing, like, outside, mountain statue, like, no, I've never done that. Well, I don't have any out here, but you said you travel a lot. Um, do you come to New York often, or have you ever been to New York? I've never been to New York. That's like one of the places I've never been. Well, hopefully, if I date go well, then you know this could be a place you travel to to see me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, honest, are you paying for the flight? It depends on how the date go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. That's why I'm hey. honest. With you. I, I fuck with the honesty. I'm here for the honesty. Uh, any questions for me, Jazz? Um, honest, you said you you live in New York. You're from New York. That's correct. Okay. Have you lived anywhere else? It's not that far from New York, Jersey. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's. Pretty yeah, it's like about 10, 15 minutes away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you What do you do like for a living? Um, I work in a warehouse and I also do Uber. Uber, okay, that's and what's up. music. I do music as well. Okay, that's what's up. What are you, What are you passionate about? Um, I'm passionate about. Uh, like, what's, like, what's 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 your hobby? If you got stripped of everything else, what gives you the greatest joy? My greatest joy is just putting on, like, giving people experiences. Like that's mm. why not not life. Like creating experiences for people. Like I would also like you know, have, like, I'm working on um, to have, like, a safe place for, like, Black women to come and, like, talk about, you know, kind of, like, not like a therapy session, but just, like, a safe place to, like, you know, talk about whatever they need to talk about with their girlfriends or, you know, helping each other create businesses and things like that. Like, that's, like, that's, like, a passion for me. Like, I love to create, like, safe places for people, so... Oh, that's powerful. Like uh, teaching financial literacy and stuff like that. Yeah, like anybody that has their own like gyms. Like I have so many great women around me that um, do all different things. Like I have friends that are designers, a chef. Um, they do um, influencing like um, business owners, real estate. Like so I know like bringing those women all together in a room, like everybody can share the experience of, you know, how they got what they did on their journey and how they got there and things like that. So you know, everybody got different gems that they could drop for each other. So, you know, yeah. I'm going to be honest. See, now, if we was to meet up in person, I think a sit down with me and you would go great. Because I would love to pick your brain. Okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, well, you can go on this date. So, tell, you, tell me what you want to know <laughs> how you want to take this. Um, Welcome I'm, back, I'm, Mel. What's up, Mel? You're frozen. What's going on? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I want to see what else is out there. <laughs> Okay. Um. Well, I I don't have. I'm not big on social media, but I do have an email, and I don't know if you would like to exchange information through email from Melly, but you know, you let me know. Okay, I'll talk to Melly about it. All right. Later. Bye. Thank I'm you. Bye. <laughs> Did you like him?
I mean, it was cool. Like, cool conversation is good. But, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I want to see what else is out there. So, okay. We, we got more. Okay. Let's see. I got uh, Emmanuel. Hello. Oh, wow. How you doing? Good. I'm good on your end because I look paused. How you doing, Jasmine? Good. You said it's paused? I know it was paused for a second. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Good. I'm good. I'm at work right now, so if they got like a little background noise. Oh, you on you on break? <laughs> nah, I'm not on break. Like I don't know about break, but uh I own a limo service, so I got some people at dinner. Oh, so okay. I'm just waiting on my clients to come out. So Okay. Yeah. So uh, you a Gemini. Yes. I think that's awesome. I'm yep. a Sagittarius, we like sister signs. So we yeah, should my, be able to get along. My best friend who I live with is the same. Right. My brother. Right. Is the same. So. Right, we gonna get a, we get along really well, really well. Every, every I Gemini don't know if I get along, I don't know if I say all that, but. Well, I mean, it's different dynamics to it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, when you look at like zodiac placements, it could be different. You know what I mean? I don't know if you into all that. Yeah. So, where do you where do you live? I'm in New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I used to live in LA. I used to live in LA for a year at the college. Oh. Okay. So. Um, you know, I I used to live like Inglewood, like around the farm and all that. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's yeah, yeah. What, what part of LA you in? If you mind disclosing that, I, um, I live in the that. I'm about oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you went to college out there? Nah, I didn't go to college. I went to beauty school and I did like hair for a while, but like I didn't okay. go to school. Okay. What kind of hair you do? You could braid me up. Huh? I said you could braid me up. Uh, like you know how to braid, you know how to do all that. Okay. All right. Well, you're beautiful. You're really nice looking. Thank I you. appreciate you take pride in your appearance. Thank I you. I really like that. You know what I mean? Yes, that's important. Nigga say April. <laughs> <laughs> Why these comments, Millie? You gotta cut the comments <laughs> off when you you gotta cut you gotta cut the comments off for us because we gonna be read. I'm gonna be reading. No, we read the comments. That's part of it. <laughs> fact, that's part fact. Of it. Yes. Yeah. Fact. So how many kids? You was your last relationship? Uh, two years ago. Two years. Yeah, two years. Did you? I was uh, I was married for ten years, and I got separated, and then I got divorced. So that's it took so took a long time. Oh wow! You know, the process. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I said you have kids. Yeah, I have kids from my wife, my ex wife. Oh, how many yeah, kids? I mean, two. I got a daughter and a son. Yeah, oh, okay. I mean, so yeah, we good. We going over here. My kids are fully taken care of. Yeah, you know I mean, so how many kids do you want? Um, I, maybe like uh, two, maybe. Maybe. Two. <laughs> yeah. No, that's good. No, that's a good number. Like when you have I, like you know you a boy and a girl. First one first to to decide. Well, you know, like kids are the best thing that ever happened to people. You know what yeah. I mean? Like they blessings. You know, you hear that all the time. But like real talk, like you learn a lot from your children. You, you learn how to be responsible. It's like shit just click. You know what I mean? You become very responsible. Things start changing. You start living for other people. You know what I mean? And um, I think that's probably one of the greatest lessons is having a child. You know what I mean? So, you know. But, um, how is your relationship with uh, your ex-wife? We co-parent really well. Um, you know, obviously through the divorce situation, you know how divorces are, you know, you're kind of trying to find that footing, you know what I mean? But once you find that footing and it becomes very smooth, you know what I mean? I respect her. She was a great woman. She's still a great woman. So, you know what I'm saying? Like that type of situation, like I respect her wholeheartedly, you know what I mean? And uh, she take care of my kids and we take care of the kids together and we have a great relationship. You know what I mean? No beef over here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My mama always told me you get more bees than honey anyway. So, yep. you know, we, we have... <laughs> We have a good situation. You know, we have a good situation. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to say yeah. pineapples. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Why? Because, I don't know, like, the whole kids situation thing, like I said, um, it does seem like, I don't know, maybe he does have a good dynamic with his baby or his ex-wife and stuff like that. But I don't know. I just, maybe I'm not mature enough. I'm not there yet. I'm just, uh Pineapples. I'm not. <laughs> you just don't want that. Okay. Yeah. It's not, I don't know. It seemed like baggage. Like uh, I'm okay. Got you. All right. We got we got somebody else. I got Jeff. Hi, Jeff. What's up, Mel? How you doing, Jasmine? Hi. How are you? I'm alright. How you doing? 
I'm doing good. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 36. I'm single. I don't have any kids. He's <laughs> like, I'm making a point of that. Yeah, um, I deliver paint for Sherman Williams, and I do home improvement work on the side. You said you do what? I'm sorry? Home home improvement work on the side and deliver paint for a company called Sherman Williams. Oh, okay. Oh, Sherman Williams. Yeah, yeah, So where do you live? Yeah. I live in Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore. Okay. Yeah. I, and, uh, I mean, eventually I'll be leaving. I, I don't think it's a good place. You know what I'm saying? It's, it made me who I am, but it's not in the way I want to retire from. Yeah. I'm okay. from here. Well, so. I'm pineapples. I'm sorry. Why? I don't know. I just wasn't really, like, attracted to him like that. Like, he's cool, but I don't know. Wasn't really <laughs> feeling the vibe. Let me see. Um, okay, what is one of your toxic traits? One of my toxic traits? Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to say that I'm, like, a jealous person, but... If you my man, like, I don't want no females talking to you. Like, I don't want no, like, nah. And because girls, we kind of be cute sometimes. And it's like, they know that's your man. And it's like, nah, I don't, that could be one of my toxic traits. Like, females around my man and my man having, like, female friends. Like, I'm not. So, so. does it work the same the other way around? Like, do you have guy friends? I do, but... I know how to keep it, like, respectable when I'm, like, around them. Like, not that my guy friends are disrespectful, but it's, like, we talk and, like, it's not like I'm all close on them, touching them, trying to hug them, trying to be cute. It's just, like, we talk like normal friends, like normal people. It's not, like, you know. I feel like girls be trying to be cute when they know you got a man. Like, oh, like, you know, they be, you know how girls are, really. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, because I'm wondering, it's, like... <laughs> Why do you think your man cannot be the same and be like, no, you know, I'm not really letting them like be close like that to me, you know, but they're just his friends. Since and it works for you, why can't it work for him? In the past, I guess I can just say like I've had, I've dated guys who they say girls are just friends, but their energy towards them don't give me just friends energy. Mm -hmm. You know, energy is everything. So it's like the way they talking to her or the way she's talking to him. And maybe he might in his mind think, oh, we just friends. But she probably think it's something else. And it's just like, yeah, I'm not here for that. So that's definitely one of my toxic things. Like, I do not want no females around my man talking to my man. No. I'm okay. Come out. <laughs> hey, they say you're tweaking. I don't know. I'm tweaking. Why am I tweaking? I need somebody to like. So because it's just like it feels like I mean I know there's a bunch of double standards and that's just how it is but I feel like in this one if you can handle it him having girlfriends female friends I feel like it's only fair for you to not have guy friends either okay it's not the female friend thing it's the interaction with your female friends it's the respect like if you have female friends it's like you shouldn't be like it's just, like I don't really know how to explain it. It's like it should be boundaries. Exactly, it should be boundaries when you have female friends. Like communicating. Like, well, what if the female friends he has uh, act exactly like you? Uh, you act with your guy friends. No, if it's respectable, then no, I wouldn't have a problem. It's okay. if it's if it's respectable, no, I respect. Because I understand like you have friends before you met me, and you had a life before you met me. I understand that, mm -hmm. but. It has to be like some type of respect and boundaries involved. If there's no respect and boundaries, then you're gonna see my my jealousy, toxic side come out. Like he said, she's ready to burn somebody house down. If I need to, no, I'm just playing. I'm not. I'm not going to jail for nobody. Okay. Yo, so, nobody. Somebody else me. said that you um you're ready to fight the female friends. Have you fought one of the the girlfriends before? No, I've never, I've been in fights before, but it wasn't because of a man, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Let, I, let's see. I'm a Gemini, but y'all not about to make it seem like I'm just crazy. I'm not... Yeah, I'm... This, you know what they say. I, I hear a lot about either Gemini or Cancers. I don't know if yeah, that's no. really a thing. No, I'm not crazy. But yeah, all right. Well, let me see who else we have. I don't know his name. Hello. So, I 
Yeah, he's in the dark. We we can't see yeah. him. Like that's looking a little scary. <laughs> For sure. Um, have you ever been through uh your your man's phone? I've definitely went through my man's phone before. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say I didn't because I have. And yeah, it it just causes problems. <laughs> I'm sure. Problem. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna just keep it all the way one hundred. Like going through your man's phone, like and like people always say, like oh that's insecure and that's this and that. And it's like easier said than done because you know most mm -hmm. uh, like I've just matured too. Like I've got to the age where it's like you know what I'm not doing that. If I catch something or something is brought to me, then okay, cool. But like going to go search for something, that's not cool. And it's like invading privacy. And it's like, you wouldn't want them to do that to you because it's like, you know, you wouldn't want them going through your phone or whatever. So what did My you friend, find? Huh? What did you find? I found niggas talking to girls, DMing them, trying to link up with them, trying to do all of that. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Well, so so does it mean you were kind of right for looking? Yeah, like, because, you know, as women, you know, we be like, we have our gut feeling. We have that intuition. Like, I'm, something is telling me to go through this man's phone. Like, something is telling me to do it. And then when you do it, it's like, okay, this is why I did it. Because you was in here doing shit you wasn't supposed to be doing. Yeah. But, you know, they say we're always going to find something, though. Exactly. And that was another thing that I had to also learn, too. Like, being growing and maturing, I was like... You don't, because when you're looking through his phone, you don't stop until you find something. Because you don't just look on Instagram and be like, oh, he ain't doing it. Okay, let me get off. No, you like, I know he's doing something. Let me look at his messages. Let me, you just keep digging and keep digging. Sure. Mm -hmm. Drive yourself fucking crazy. So, crazy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, let me see. We, we got some more people for you. I have uh, Lavish the Don. Hello. Yo, what's good? Oh, he got his sexy voice on. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? Yo, what's up, yo? Hey, well, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm younger than like what you said, but I'm not really tripping over that. Um, how, how old are you? Guess how old I am. No, tell me and don't lie. How old I look? You look like 22, 23. No, nah, I'm 21. Oh, pineapples. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's so young. Why yeah. did he put his sexy voice on? Because he was like, I'm gonna show you that I'm not that young, like, I can be good for you. Hell yeah, let's see. We got we got more. I got men, men. Hello, oh my gosh, he tried to put his sexy voice on. Yeah, oh, I said, that, I'm sorry, I'm still laughing. From, from, uh, yeah, from the, from the young, he tried. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> oh, he got the big boy chain on. Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all can see me, bro. Yeah. We yeah. We hey. Can. Hey, for real though. Hey, it's just like I'm talking to somebody famous. I see y'all on YouTube, and I'm on a spotlight. Like, uh, hey, buddy, look. I, I got a question for y'all though. Okay. I got a question for y'all though. Look. I work at a I work at the stadium, right? And make a long story short, it's this woman I dreamt of, and the next day she was there. You know what I mean? She looked like y'all. You know what I mean? I'm not even gonna stun to you, but it's like she gets my heart beating real fast. Like man, like if I'm seeing y'all right now, I'm like uh the the the. But if you get to know me, I'm the coolest motherfucker around, bro. I'm, you know what I'm trying to tell you. Look, make a long story short, it's like Melly. Sometimes I watch you, you know what I mean? Like, you be giving out some good points. You the point, like, you be like, hey, boy, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? You go out there and do it. And it's just like, and it's just like, it, it gets me motivated. Like, sometimes, like, I learn. Where he's going. I don't. Danielle, I don't know if it's the right show for you right now. Today is to talk to Jasmine. Because, Belly, he just came on, like, on 10. And I don't even know what he was talking about. I don't know where he was going with that. You know, that was a lot. That was a lot. That was. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Okay, let, let, let's keep going. I have more. I, I have. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yo. Some, somebody's out of control. He didn't oh take my. his pills. Oh, he didn't God. Take his pills. <laughs> 
Let's see. I have Mensa Musa. Hello. Oh, pineapples. Hey. You know, well, they be looking scary. Like, did they? I don't know. Hey, maybe, you know, they're in the car. They're just seeing the show that, I, okay, I got to come. You know, they're not home yet. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. I got Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Hello. 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 How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Fantastic. Where are you at right now? Where am I at, like location or ge geographically? Um, it just looks. Are you working? Like. Uh, yeah, I'm at. I'm at work. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm at work. Okay. Where do you live? I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. What about you? I live in LA. Oh, okay. LA is nice. LA is nice. Is that where you're from? Yeah. Well, no, I grew up in like a small uh, Fresno, like Central Cali, but I've been in LA for like mm -hmm. 10 years. So. 10 years? Okay. 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 That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any questions for me or? Yeah. Um, I kind of caught, I kind of came in around the part we're talking about, uh, you don't, the male friends and girlfriends type of deal. I got a question for you. If you're in a relationship with a guy, do you fight? Like, physically, do you, do you aim to, like, you know, be violent? It's an honest question. You know, I ain't trying to, you know, stir the pot and I just want to know. No, 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 no. I'm not a violent girlfriend. I'm, like, what I was telling Melly, what I was explaining to her, but if my, the person that I'm with has female friends, I would just want them to have boundaries and be respectful. Right, right, right. Because sometimes people don't believe in boundaries. People don't believe in, you know, respecting your relationship. So I'm like, if relationship have boundaries, then I would. Yeah, I understand that. I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. They don't establish boundaries or they establish them and they just break them. You know, yeah. they just, you like, know. Be respectful because it's like, if I'm around my female friends, <laughs> They're respectable. They're not trying to hug on me or close to me or anything. They treat me like I'm like a brother or something to them, you know? So, like, talking about sports and we talking about, they tell me about, you know, females they messing with. And, you know, it's it's like a like a family dynamic. It's not like, oh, you can tell, like, if my man was to come around, like, oh, mess with you. Like, it's not that vibe. It's very respectful, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, man, I, a lot of people, they got ulterior motives. And I think a lot of people are a lot of people are sick and insecure. Not sick like physically, but they're like, you know, they, they walk around with a lot of traumas and insecurities. And yeah. they just assume like anybody that comes within a five feet radius is trying to take her away from it, you know. And even if they even if that is the case, they don't trust you enough as your partner to think you got enough of your own backbone to be like, no, nah, I'm good, like I'm yeah. cool. Like they feel like you can't draw the line yourself, you know what I'm saying? So Exactly. Yeah. 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 But yeah, um he said she uh, looked like a Tyler Perry villain. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. They're saying you're what? violent, you're gonna do some shit. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fight people. They see the last the person said I'm gonna burn somebody's house down. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that just means you care, man. That's all, you know. But that I, just means you care. <laughs> you, you, you like you care about what you care about. I don't wrong with it. Said that I put my hands on any body or any male or anything, and everybody. It's because I said I'm a Gemini. People think I'm crazy. Right, right, right. Well, I'm a Pisces. I don't know what that means to you. Yeah, I mean, a lot of men don't know about signs, so I ain't even going. We ain't even gotta go down that whole road right now. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That's cool, that's so, cool. Frank, Frankie, she said she likes to go on vacation um, every two months. Do you uh -huh. think you can go with her if she want to keep doing that? Oh, for sure, yeah, no problem. You can take off and go on vacation every two months. How often do you go? If, if we plan it in advance, I mean, me personally, I don't have a partner that I just want to drop everything for and just start doing it. So currently I don't do that. But I have, you know, recently I went to Vegas, 
Um, I went to Austin, Texas last year for South by Southwest. Um, I went to Charlotte. Um, I went to Indianapolis and Chicago. I did Chicago Memorial Weekend. So I, I travel around when I need to. It's just a plant, you know, planted thing. I'm not really like to just drop everything that day, take off for three days. You know, I kind of, yeah, no, that's you know, I'm, I'm, you know, that's you know so, yeah. yeah. So you like to travel? I love traveling. Like that's what. Uh, what's a uh, what's a cool place you've been to? What's like a like a what's a, what's a real cool place you've been to or your favorite place? Um. One of my favorite places was Thailand. Thailand was definitely one of my favorites. Um, oh, Thailand. Yeah, it was beautiful. Um, and then, too, it's just, like, it was super cool, like, a peaceful trip. Going to see, like, the big Buddha and, like, going to the, like, places where, like, they pray on you and, like, you go feed the elephants and stuff like that. So it's, like, I know some trips can be, like, turnip trips, but it was more of, like, just, like, feel relaxing, just experiencing the and stuff. Oh wow, that's amazing! I heard Thailand they got uh what, wild warthogs. Um, they had some monkeys that was like stealing people's stuff off the beach. That was <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> like they would steal the monkeys were stealing people's food and like backpacks and purses and like yeah they were stealing thief and monkeys. <laughs> oh wow! So they, well, that's crazy. I man, they try to fight one of the monkeys out there. Yeah, it was crazy, but um, wow. I'm gonna go ahead and say pineapple. So enjoy the rest of your trip. Um, yo, yo, shift at work. <laughs> yeah, nuts. What happened? No. Um, he was cool, but it's just like, and eh, the attraction was just like, eh. wasn't there. Okay. Yeah. All right, we got more. Hello. What's up? Hello. What's up? <laughs> she got a, she got a real nice smile. Oh, thank you. So do you. And how do you pronounce your name? For real. How do you pronounce Preach. it? Preach. The seven is an A. Preach. The seven is an A. Okay. So preach. The seven is a <laughs> divine number. I like the number seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to ask you a question, though. Um, You don't have kids. You say you're 31. I'm 31, too. Mm -hmm. And I get a lot of, uh, I get a lot of backlash for not having kids being 31. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular reason why you try so hard? Because trust me, it does take effort to I, be protected enough. Where do you live? Well, I grew up in Maryland, oh. but I lived in Florida for a while. Okay. Um, I was going to say, because I know people in that live in the South, like having kids and stuff like that's really traditional for them. So that's why I was like asking where you live. But um, I just, living in california like it's a very fast place fast paced place and it's a very it's like a lot of single people here so people just be having kids and for me i feel like if i have kids that's not something i'm gonna play about not to say that people play about these situations but for me it's just i take family and that whole family foundation dynamic very serious so if I wanted to have kids, what he just popped up. <laughs> no, I, I got a text message in my back. It didn't sound it, the sound. Sorry. I'm I'm listening to you though. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so I take that very serious. Um, kids, family, foundation, like that's um that's very important to me. So I didn't, I wasn't just out here, you know messing around and trying to get pregnant and yeah no that wasn't my vibe I, I was on the same thing like I, I think it's uh i'm a real spirit i don't really like i'm a real monogamous person i don't really like mixing too many things um i feel like that's a dope quality that means you think a lot about the decisions you make before you make them and i feel like that's important with you know being with a person because i'm used to seeing uh relationship that has lasted for a while like my people they've been together for a while so i watched them go through ups and downs and yeah. good and bad things and i, I just want to be with a woman that knows how to this this is where it gets crazy just because you're traditional doesn't mean you want a woman that's going to be with you <laughs> when you broke it's, that's not that's not what it's about yeah it's about it's about being with someone that knows how to be a partner. 
exactly. and pick up where you leave off. It's not just about money. Yeah. It's like, okay, if if I if I'm lacking a little bit here, you can pick up over there. Yeah. You know, and I feel like that's important to me. You know, is that important to you? Can are you are you uh do you know how to be a partner in a relationship? Um, yeah, I've definitely um because being in a relationship, you have days where you're running on um you said he needs an arranged marriage to each additional. Um, I've definitely been... Damn, he said that fast. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I've been in relationships and I've been... You know, some days you on 30% and they on 70%. Or some days, you know, you guys are 50-50 or whatever. I'm on it. Yeah, so sometimes... 100-100. Yeah, but you know, everybody has their days where they're not themselves yeah. or down or, you know family issues or whatever and you need that supportive person to be there to support you and you know pick you up when you down or to also help elevate you too like I feel like people like to be in relationships because it's just like it's cute for Instagram or it's like they just have to have a person a lot of people don't know how to be by themselves um I've never been that type of person so uh, if I'm in a relationship it has to be meaningful to me it has to be something that I feel like can elevate me mentally um and just like you know elevate me all around like to be a better person um to make me want to be you know step in that like white mode and things like that so i feel like um every relationship is like is different but i feel like they should also bring other type of values to you like you shouldn't just be in a relationship because you you're lonely you don't want to be by yourself yeah i agree like i'm i'm just that's that's what i saw i saw um I saw, you know, a relationship where, you know, it was balanced and it wasn't this whole 2023 who's supposed to be masculine, who's supposed to be feminine. I cook. I like to cook. So if it's days you don't feel like cooking, I'm a cook because I know how to. Yeah. I was taught how to. Yeah. I wasn't taught how to just by my mom, but by my dad, too. Yeah. That's important. And he explained to me like, yo, we got to we got to we got to do things. We got to do things sometimes. We we got to fix the sink and we got to build the house. And sometimes we got to we got to make sure the stuff don't burn in the oven. Yeah. And that, and that don't make you less than a man. You pick up where they leave. And I just I, I, I was just asking if you understood that, like, it's a balance because because no matter what they talk on social media, when you're in the house with that person every day, it's going to be stuff you don't feel like doing. It's going to be stuff they don't feel like doing. Are you willing to pick up that slack? And why you going to pick? Why you going to do that? You really care about that person, yeah. or like? And I, I, that's why I was asking. You know. Well, but yeah, it was nice talking to you. I don't want to take up too much time. Okay, nice. But yeah, it was, it was nice talking. I just want to ask you that. Yeah. Bye, preach. <laughs> Did you like him? It was cool. The conversation was good. You know how to have a conversation because some people don't know how to have a mm -hmm. conversation. So that was good. Those com you, these comments, like when I'm listening to him <laughs> talk and trying to be serious, and then I'm reading the comments and I start laughing, and I'm just like, you, you can't read. You can't. <laughs> uh, would you tell him to slide in your DMs or no? Um, I don't know. No. He can if he wants to. Okay. <laughs> All right, preach. You heard. You can if you want to slide. Uh, let me see. Uh, I got Jordan. Hi, Jordan. We can see you. Yo, wait, hold on. My shit's right. Hello. Yo, what's up, Nelly? Hey. Thank you much. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How are you, Jasmine? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Okay. I'm yeah, so, I'm huh? From? I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah, I stay in the city. How about you? I stay in LA, so I really don't know. I live in LA. You live in LA? Yeah. That's lit. That's lit. I like yeah. LA. Yeah. So tell me something. Tell me something about. <laughs> <laughs> um, about me. Um, uh, not really much to know. I work at the airport, and um, I do, like, stocks and trading on the side and stuff like that. Um, 
I travel a lot. I did hear you say you like to travel. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm tra- I travel a lot. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really, I'm not good at this type of stuff. I ain't gonna lie. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. I'm um, just. I don't really get on here for real. Wait, Jordan, how old are you? Uh, is is there an age re- requirement or something? Yeah. How, old, how old are you, Jasmine? I'm 31. I swear. Yes. You look so young. Thank you. Black You're don't very cry. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So how so, old are you? Um, before you say pineapple, uh, I'm 24, but like <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm a very very mature 24. Like okay. I'm 24, but I'm really like 34. If you want, you know what I'm saying. So what do you Define. say? More mature than an average 24 year old. What'd you say? I said, what would you say makes you more mature than an average 24 year old? You said why? Wait, I didn't. I can't hear you. My bad. Yeah, more mature than an average 24 year old. Like, why do you say? Oh, oh, I mean, just cause. I mean, I guess I'm just on my, on my, on my shit. I guess I don't know. Uh, shit, I do what I want to do. I take care of myself. So, okay. you know, for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I still got mature and stuff to do. But yeah, you, know, you just I'm, you're very nervous. Like, are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> I am. But I, 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 I grew up very like shy so i'm trying to like still break out that you know what i'm saying okay yeah. but i mean like i i'm i'm very confident still though you know what i'm saying okay. ain't happened to melly i don't know <laughs> uh oh <laughs> she done left this she left the room that might be a sign yeah <laughs> i might be i might be the one for you you let me in here so, um, do you ever come to Atlanta? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I said, when's your birthday? Oh, Melly, we was like, we lost you. <laughs> yeah, my internet. I'm back home. My internet is trash right now. Yeah, that's what I was so don't, don't worry. I still hear. It oh. My shit be, yeah. You didn't say pineapple, right? No. No, okay. <laughs> I can't. Hello? Yeah, I can hear him. I can't hear me there. Jordan. Damn, I'm gonna have to say pineapple. I can't hear him. All right. D- were you liking him or no? I mean, he seemed cool. He just seemed very shy. Like, he just seemed like very shy to talk to me, which is cool. But, like, I was gonna ask him more questions, but we couldn't hear. So, okay. Well, uh, would you like him to come back or no? Um, if he can. Okay, Jordan, log out and come back in. All right, uh, we'll talk to somebody else. Well, <laughs> hello. Yo, what's good? Yo, no shit. Okay. No, I'm just cool with right now. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Melly. How we doing? Good. How- good, good. And your name, they call you JD? JD, yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Oh, where are you from? I hear the accent. I'm from Dominican Republic. Oh, wow. Yeah, where are you from? Um, I hate myself. What's that? California. California. Yeah, how old are you? I just crashed into the gas station. I'm young. I'm young. How old are you? 21. Oh, pineapple. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting all the little young tenderonies. Do I look that young? You look young, for sure. Oh. I'm like, I need a grown man, okay? I'm 31, baby. <laughs> We're trying. Look, I think Mark might be grown. Mike. Oh, man, this is crazy. They got me in this bitch. Hold up, man. Are you grown, Mark? What? How old are you? I'm, are I'm you 25. Ever? I'm You're 25. Lying. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 25. I'm, I'm still like, yeah, I'm still kind of young, but it is what it is. I think I just look young because I don't know. But you said you're where do you live? I live in a small town, Brenham. I just moved out of Houston, actually. Oh, I love Houston. You do? Yes. What you know about Houston? What you know about that swing? swing I, I'm in Houston a lot, actually. So I love Houston. You check in? Who you ch- who you be checking in with when you come to Houston? What you be doing there? Uh, I have friends there. 
I ain't saying nobody's name, but I have friends out there. All right. So what you looking at for like what you looking for for this stage like um, in your life? Me being thirty one, uh, I'm not looking for no no fun. I mean, I want to have fun, yeah. but I want somebody serious, someone that's looking to like you know build, elevate in life. Like you know, want to be you know build towards being a husband and wife, being together, having kids. And it's like you 25, so it's like. Which <laughs> I don't think this is. I don't think this is gonna be. <laughs> you got. You can't be judgmental though. Like you gotta. You gotta take a chance on things. Yeah, but I, I've dated somebody younger before, and I wish I didn't, cause the maturity levels is just not. It's not there. Like you still got. <laughs> You still got more fun you need to do. You move from Houston too, so that means you you really. I have. actually see you didn't even ask me no questions. You just making assumptions. I actually grew up like where I am now. I grew up in a small town, so like I have like um a real old way of living. Like I grew up around a bunch of old heads and stuff, so I'm really traditional and like old school. So like I've never been to a club before. That. I still haven't done that. So like. Have you have you had any relationships? Have you had a girlfriend before? Have you yeah, had- of course. Like I had a girlfriend and shit. Like I've date I've dated. I'm 25. But um like yeah, I'm talking about like hate like certain things, like I don't club and shit like that, but like yeah. So, sir, when was your last relationship? Maybe like five months ago. Like I was dating this chick that I um she was actually a waitress at the bar. It just yeah, I dated her and it just didn't really work out. But she was young. She was like 19. It just wasn't really. So you telling me, you saying she young and I'm telling you, you young. Yeah, but I'm looking I'm looking for some more mature anyway. Well, now that I'm 25, like I'm trying to change my taste in women. Okay. Yeah. So have you dated someone older, like around my age before? I haven't. But I'm looking to try new things. I don't know. I'm just really open to like new things right now. I think so. Okay. What do you think you could uh, bring to her life as a boyfriend? As a, uh, I don't like to think too far ahead. Like, honestly, I just want to take things slow. <laughs> and where, whatever happens, happens. Like, I don't like, I don't okay. really like, I, I just right. like going with the flow. You say pineapple? Yeah, pineapple. I mean, it was cool talking to him, but then, like I said, he's 25, that mature, start popping out. Oh, I'm going to just take the, I'm going to just go with the flow. You know, you 25. I was doing that at 25, but no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you look older, though. Wow. You did. Because I thought I was bringing you somebody. Your right. Age. I you thought, know. yeah, I just can't date. I've dated somebody younger before, and I'm just like, you yeah, know. Nah. No working. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Hello, Angel. Angel. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Pineapples. Good, how are you? Pineapples, pineapples. Okay. No, not your type? Yeah, no. It was not my type. Okay. I got Jake. Hi, Jake. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Hi, Jake. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Um, you vaccinated? No, I'm not vaccinated. That's good. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> I am not vaccinated. So you're I'm assuming you're not vaccinated either. No, I ain't vaccinated. Okay. How old are you? 35. 35. Okay. Where are you from? Or where do you live? I live in Baltimore. I'm from here as well. Oh, okay. East Coast. That's what's up. Yeah. Yes. It's- out this way huh you ever been out this way um i the closest to the east coast i've been was like philly i've been like philly before but i've never been to new york or dc or nothing like that what club you worked in out la i used to come out there often um i've worked at a lot of clubs like multiple so yeah i'm saying like now what club you work at now if you don't mind sharing we might <laughs> we might come and tip you know, spend yeah, big- that's something I would have to put on. It's like put on like in DMs or something like that. I don't want to just oh, okay put that out there. You ever had any cosmetic surgery? Cosmetic surgery? No, no. no. I'm a- yeah, I, I'm just asking. That's like a big LA thing. Oh no no no. I'm, I'm- would you be? Are you against it? 
No, I'm not. I was just, you know, you asking questions. I'm just asking questions. Okay. So, relationship questions. So, when was the last time you were in a relationship? Um, a couple years ago. Okay. And how long were y'all together? Um, a few years. Okay. What happened? Um, she passed away from cancer. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I was not expecting that. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, no. It's all good. I'm over that. I mean, you know, the, the sad part about that right now. Yeah. You, are you religious? Yeah, I am. Okay, like what religion do you practice? Um, well, growing up, I was in church in like Christianity, but okay. I mean, I guess I would still say Christian, but I definitely still, you know, read my Bible, practice, oh, or practice and stuff like that. So, yeah. daily. So, yeah, God is very big in my life still. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah, well, do you have any children? No, I don't got no kids. Oh, no kids. Okay. Yeah. You interested in coming out here? I could send you a plane ticket. You ain't got to pay for it. Oh, and I can send a plane ticket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what are you, like, looking for, though? Um, Somebody that's nice and that can, like, you know, work with me, you know, because I got things going on and, you know, I ain't really trying to, like, follow nobody else's plan. I want somebody to get on my page. So what if it's a woman that has her own plan? I mean, if she, I can help her with hers, but, you know, if we talking about business, it's like who got the better financial plan? I think I got a good one. So what do you do? Uh, I'm a substance abuse provider. I got inpatient and outpatient clinics. Then I got some side businesses. I got a food truck, cleaning service, different things, barbershop. Oh, a hustler. Yeah, I own some property out here. So oh. where would she? Where would you want Jasmine to work? <laughs> um, I mean, you could work at the front desk in one of them clinics. You could, I could teach her how to do medical billing. I can get her trained to be a peer recovery specialist, substance abuse counselor, different things. But she know how to cook. I could put her on the truck. And I'm quite sure she probably got like a big social media following. So we probably could use her page for like advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> business mode all the way listen he decided what he's doing with your life he said i'm gonna make her work okay i mean that ain't really work though it's kind of easy if you just post some pictures that ain't really that much work no but you say you're gonna put her in the truck if she can cook. i mean if she can because you know <laughs> she, she working in the club right now i'm quite sure she's gonna get tired of that after a while I got like an age limit type thing going at the while. It's like they bring them young girls in and replace you. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, these comments, I can't. <laughs> hey, I know. I'm reading them too. But <laughs> I'm not no girl. I ain't into all that type of shit. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So are you looking to be in a relationship? Like, are you? I mean, anything is possible if you a good person. You know, I, I believe in, you know, anything is possible. But I can't necessarily say I'm looking to be in a relationship because I live in Baltimore. It ain't the type of place where you really come across many relationships type girls. You know, it's like a fast girl city. Yeah, but I'm asking you, though, like, are you interested in? Like, I mean, I, 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 me being here, that's not something that I think about a lot being here. But I was on... um the internet and I was watching No Jumper and I came across her interview, Melly's interview with No Jumper and that's how I got down with this thing right here and I started um, following her on Instagram and she had said that she was going to be on at 9 o'clock so I came out the restaurant that I could catch on and see what's going on on here. Okay, so how do you feel about marriage? Like getting married like I mean, I believe anything is possible. If you fall in love with the right person, then, you know, if that's what y'all come together and do, then that's a work. I'm not opposed to nothing. Oh, okay. Except for the homosexual activity. I ain't with none of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely wasn't going to bring that up at all. But Yeah, I mean, you in California. I've been out there a lot. I used to stay on Highland Avenue. 
over there in Westwood near UCLA, and <laughs> it's a lot of girls. They be with all that, bringing two guys in, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not into that. So, you what? <laughs> That's when you like, was in Thailand, did you go to the Fifi Islands? Because I've been to Thailand as well. I did go to the Fifi Islands. I did. I did. Yeah. Did you go to the clubs on um, Bangor Road? Um, in Thailand, yeah, Patong Beach. They had like the oh, line yeah. yep. stuff, and I went to the um the ping pong show. That crazy ass. Ping okay. Pong. We I went was- to a, I went to a club called Illusions out there. It was pretty cool. You could definitely. Then we, <laughs> and then we left from the Patong Beach and went to the main city, and we stayed at the um, Vancouver Prestige, and we was hanging out in the main city out there. Yeah, that's what's up. So you travel. You've been... Yeah, I've been around. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Traveling. Would you move, uh, would you move from uh, Baltimore? Um, Not really. It's going like this. Like We got beaches here. We got... You could go to the beach. You could go snow, go to the mountains. And we got, you know, I could visit. I could travel, but living, no, I wouldn't. I mean, I mean you can do that in L.A. too. I mean, in California. Yeah, but you California, the beach, it's, it's, California to me, it's, not, it's like a good visiting town unless you're from there. It ain't really a place for people like from when, because, you know, I, I stayed out there for a little while. I ain't really could see myself living there. But, you know, it's a good place to visit. I lived in New York for a little while as well. I ain't really like it there as much. I like Maryland because it's a little slow pace, more my type of speed. And then I got good business going on out here, and I'm looking to expand on that. Okay, well, it seems like when it comes to business, you got it together. That's good. That's important. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, well, do you enjoy the rest of the the plane ticket, though? You need me to send that to you. Yeah, no, I'm okay. Uh, so. <laughs> okay, so wait, did you like him? I mean, I don't know. It's like he's he's talking about this plane ticket, and I'm just like too fast. Yeah, too fast. Like he's so eager, and it's like he over here talking about he could put me in in the front desk and truck. office and <laughs> truck, and I said. I mean, okay, the thing is, I, I read in some of the comments, they're saying, you know, um, since you, you do battle service, at some point, you're going to have to stop. Oh, oh. Oh. Yes. So he was like, hey, I got your plan ready. <laughs> yeah, so that's why, no, that's why at first when he was saying it, I was just like, okay, yeah. Like, you know, he's one of those people that I'm pretty sure, like, if I was telling him, you know, I'm tired of battle service, like, I'm ready to move on to the next thing, he definitely seems like a problem solver. Like, mm-hmm. he able to you know, talk to me and like pick my brain and see like, oh, well, if you like this, then let me help you do this. We can start this business or we can start this business. And that's very important, especially in a partner, because some men don't like to put their women on or they don't, I don't know, for some reason they don't put their women on to mm-hmm. back, hold her back, whatever. And he just, he definitely seemed like the type that he was not afraid to put his woman on. And that's very important. <laughs> for sure, I agree. Very important. <laughs> Let's see. We we got some more for you. Uh, let's see if Chandler is here because he's been coming in and out. Chandler, you want to talk? Your mic is off. It's on, bro. It's on now. <laughs> talking bad. to me, bro. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> My bad. Hey, Melly. Not last night. Lang, not long. Lang? Yeah. Lang, L A N G. Lang, sorry. Yeah. Wait, we can't really see you. Can you get in the light a little bit? My phone about to die. My phone on charging. Oh, got you. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> he said, bro, like that is a lady. <laughs> and people are calling me, bro. I don't know. <laughs> and then he was like, he no clothes on. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see, I have Tonique. Hello. How you doing, Melly? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Hi. Hi, How do you doing with me? What's up? I I don't think I don't think think you put me on. Actually, I was I was waiting for a long time. (laughs) Yeah, but then you left. I did. I did. I came back. I won't go nowhere. Okay. Pronounce your name. 
Tonique. It's like Monique for the T. Tonique. Okay. Yeah. What um nationality are you? Or I'm black. I'm African, yeah. Oh, African. Okay, that's what's up. African American. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh, African. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. How y'all doing? Though? How y'all doing? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> um, not too bad. I ain't doing bad at all. Not too bad. You look. You look nice tonight, though. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, how old are you? Thirty-two. About to be thirty-three. Okay, that's what's up. And where are you from? Like, where are you living? I'm from Virginia. Okay, that's what's up. What part of Virginia? <laughs> Uh, Hampton Road, 757. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just know people from Virginia, so I was just asking. What part? What part? Um, I know people from Petersburg. Okay. Yeah, so. Uh, Virginia State? No, they went to college, like, outside of Virginia, like Howard and stuff. That's where I went to school, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm bored, man. I saw you. I saw you on YouTube. I just wanted to say hi. I I, I ain't want too much of nothing. Okay. But, um, Thank you for stopping. If you want to hit me up, though, if you want to hit me up, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not gonna talk, but then you're like, hit me up. I ain't, much of, I ain't much of a social talker, actually, man. Actually, so <laughs> you, you gotta people. That's how you get to know people. You gotta communicate. What do you What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Pineapples. <laughs> 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 and I'm like giving them room to talk. Like, come on, like we can talk. Let's talk about something. And he just he was like, no. Yeah, no. It's cool. All right, we got. Let me see. I need to find somebody for you. Seven. Hi, seven. Hey, what's up, Melly? What's up, Jasmine? What's up? Hi. You can see me. Yes. Hey, so Jasmine, quick, quick question. You, you got you got anything you want to ask me first? Um, seven is that your real name? No, nah, seven is just my favorite number. Like I got it tatted right here on my chest. Oh, okay, got yeah. you. It's, What's it's your name? Huh? My name. Chris. What is Chris? Okay. So you have a question, Chris? Yeah. And this about to make sense in a second. What does traveling do for you? Um, traveling for me, um. I've just, I've noticed that I'm an, uh, ex I like experiences. So I like having experiences with people. I like creating experiences and traveling for me creates dope experiences where I can go to different countries, experience their culture, their food, their people, you the know, new experience. yeah, new experiences, just learn it. It teaches you things. Cause so you have people go to, they travel and they probably just do the same stuff. They probably just turn up and go to clubs. But it's like, when I travel, I make sure that I do things in that country that's, you know, part of the country. You like the, right. the local areas with the people, the food, um, sightseeing, things like that, you know? See, I respect that. The reason I asked you that is because, like, this is about to be my first time traveling. I'm, I'm leaving, this, like, the state where I live at, and I'm going okay. to the mountains, like, a mountain town in Utah to go snowboard and, and like, it's big because I'm about to, this is my first time getting on a flight and everything, so... And I always what? hear people talking about how they like traveling, and I'm like, well, it don't make sense. I'm just so used to being here, though. You Wait, where? I mean? I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm in Jacksonville. Oh. oh, okay, Florida. I love Florida. Um, oh, well, yeah, you have to because it's like there's so much to life. Like there's so much to life, and the world is so big, and it's just it's so much that you need to see because um, how can you like? I just feel like expanding your mind and expanding things that you don't even know that you like if you're just stuck in a box you know so it's like yes. traveling seeing different things you might want to move somewhere else because you if florida's all you know you've never been anywhere else you won't know that you like other climates or other states or other countries so it's like you have to go out and experience life like there's so much more to life than just you know your hometown city like yeah so you, yeah. you might see me next week, Melly, on your show. I'm gonna be around a whole bunch of snow. But hey, I had another question. Now you say you work out. That's like one of your favorite things to do, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just recently got in shape, like last year. Like I went from like 245, 250, and now I'm like 190. So like I, I fell in love with working out because I hated it so much, but I kept doing it. So is that like where you started? Was you like originally out of shape, and then you got in shape, or have you always been like? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I um I was an athlete so growing up. So I played basketball, volleyball, softball, like junior high, high school, even after I played in adult leagues and stuff like that. So fitness was just a part of me. So I just and it makes me feel good, you know, being healthy, feeling good, like it's a, it's a part of my lifestyle now. So yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely feel different, and I can feel it between the two. Because, you know, I was out of shape at one point, and like being in shape, it definitely feel make you feel good, and you think better. But now I just want yeah. to come on and ask you that, to be honest with you, Jasmine. I mean, yeah. you know, I always have people talk about traveling, so it's like, shit, I want to see what the hype is. Well, yeah, good luck on your first time traveling and your first experience, and be safe. Thank you. All right, all right, bye, Melly. Bye. <laughs> Oops. Well, sorry, I clicked already. Oh. My bad. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. It was a shock. But I'm here. Kendo uh, Slice. Hello. <laughs> hey, you who's, uh you said my name perfect, Melly. Kendo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a lot of people be saying it wrong, so I love that. That's what's up. Okay. How old are you? I'm 32. Okay, where are you from? People think I'm like 16 or something, but I'm 32. Yeah, you you look young. I look super young. Especially yeah. if I ain't got all this hair around, but yeah, I'm 32. Okay, where are you from? Chicago, born and raised. Oh, hence the Chicago Bulls. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, I actually just walked in the crib, so I just had on the hoodie. But yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Okay. So you from you from LA or you just live out there? No, I'm from California, born and raised in California, but I've been in LA for like ten years. Oh yeah, that's long enough. Long enough. And my dog is snoring. <laughs> what kind of dog you got? We can meet you here. Oh, okay. It's a king course, though. Sorry. No, it's all good. It's all good. You look gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate that. For so, sure. what, are you, um, what are you looking for? Like, are you looking for, like, you came on here because you're looking for, like, a, a girl or a girlfriend relationship? Or That's a great question. So, um, recently out of a situation, well, it's been, like, a year now. So, um, but, yeah, as far as, like, what am I looking for? I'm um, looking for... I've been working on myself over the past year since the situation ship ended. I eat cookies. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Um, but no, I'm just looking for someone who I could just vibe with, you know what I'm saying? Take trips with, um, talk to on a regular basis, communicate with, get to know them, take them out, things like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about you? Yeah, same. Um, I'm looking for somebody that I can, you know, have, can you hear my dog? I feel like y'all can hear him. I can't hear him. Oh, okay, good. Because he's snoring loud. Um, I'm looking for someone that I can, you know, grow with, elevate with. For sure. So, you know, someone that I can also travel with because I do travel by myself or with friends. Um, so that is a part of my lifestyle. Um, and someone that, you know, wants to grow and, you know, <laughs> and build a family, get married, <laughs> things like that. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, when was your last uh, relationship or situation? My last relationship was it ended this summer, actually. So I was in a relationship. Yeah. That's recent. Yeah, it was recent. Wow. Are you over it? You said About what? Yes. Oh, yes. Over it. A thousand. You are completely 100 percent. That's what's up. A That's thousand percent. <laughs> you said a thousand percent. That's what's up. Yeah. So, what would be, like, an ideal first date for you? Um, Ideal first date for me? Just something that's fun. Because I feel okay. like first dates, like, at a movie, you can't really talk to a person. So, I want right. to do something fun that we can actually talk and, like, get to know each other. So, um, I'm very competitive. I have all brothers. So, I grew up with a household of boys. So, I'm very uh um, I'm very um, competitive, so anything that has some sports involved or some type of being competitive and us talking, getting to know each other, having fun at the same time, enjoying each other, I feel like that'll be ideal date for me. That that's good. Um, I agree with everything you just said. You know, what I'm saying like the the whole movie and the dinner thing that could get kind of played out like super quick. So I'm cool on like the arcades, bowling. Uh, you in California, so. It, yeah, it's, like, just warm out usually, like, all the time. So you can always just find something to do, a park picnic, something like that in L.A. Yeah. Yes, I love L.A. Yeah. LA. Yeah. So um, what was I going to say? Oh, do you have any kids or anything? I do not have any kids. His ass. <laughs> I doubt that. I doubt it. 
I doubt it. Unless I just really no, get I think everybody up here just think I'm crazy. Like they think nah, <laughs> nah, nah. They can have it. Let them have their thoughts. Um, you said well, I'm sorry. What did you ask me though? I said, do you have any kids? I do not have any kids. Zero. Zero. What do you do for a living? So right now, I do a couple things. Uh, main nine to five job. I work at Merrill Lynch. I'm in the financial advisor program at okay. Merrill Lynch. Um, outside of that, I do do music. I'm a rapper. I own a record label. And also getting into some side businesses with some of my friends. Like we got Turo. Uh, looking to get into Airbnb as well later on this year too. Okay, yeah, that's up. yeah, yeah, a little some some, nothing major. Okay, I mean you you out here, you got businesses, you ele elevating in life. That's good. Yeah, so you're a a bottle girl in LA. Yes, I'm a bottle girl. So what? So what are your career endeavors, or what are you like? I know it's not end all be all as a bottle yeah. girl. You know that. Um, right now I'm studying to be, uh, to get my real estate license. So real estate will be the next thing. No, we can study together. I'm, I want to get into that soon too. Yeah. So, and I feel like with the clientele that I have now, it'll roll over. Um, cause real estate, you still need clientele and the type right. of real that I want to do, I feel like the clients that I already have now, it'll, it'll match perfectly. So that'll already mm -hmm. be a step into real estate. So. They are hilarious. The yeah. comments, man, your comments are <laughs> hilarious. That's hilarious. And they work though for sure. <laughs> they work though. <laughs> I'm glad y'all getting the laugh out of this. I'm laughing too. It's amazing. It's funny. Uh, Kendall, what is the best thing about you when you're in a relationship? So the best thing about me is that I am very attentive. So. Like, I could just use this call for an example. It's been very short. Um, but the first thing I asked you was, what was your ideal first date? You said something competitive. So in my mind, I'm already thinking about stuff to do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. This coming. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a whole other question for a whole other day based on that comment. But, um, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> to answer your question, Melly, uh, I'm very attentive. So if I even see something, I hear something that you like, I pick up on it. <laughs> um, I'm already on it. Boom. You ain't even got to ask me or tell me. It's already getting done. That's good. That's very important. So that's my biggest thing. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jasmine, what's your biggest thing? Like your biggest attribute when you're in a relationship? Um, I would say... I'm very attentive as well, too. Like, I feel people's emotions. So it's like, okay. I'm very, like, I know a lot of men, they don't like to, like, express and say what's wrong when they got something going on. <laughs> Bro. It's hard to focus. It's hard to focus. I'm trying For to sure. focus. But I, um, I pay attention to emotions and, you know, being attentive as well. So if I know my man had a bad day, but he's saying nothing's wrong. I'm going to make sure that I do something to show him, like, I know that, you know, you had a bad day, even though you're not telling me something's wrong. Let me do something that I know he likes or cook something that's his favorite or, you know, okay. you know. You cook? Yes, I do cook. What's your mm -hmm. uh, favorite dish to cook? Or what's the, your main dish, like your go-to? My go-to? Something that I just cook all the time is, like, tacos. Like, being in California, I love tacos. That's, like, a main go-to. But I can cook everything. Like, I've cooked the whole Thanksgiving dinner before. So, it's like, I can cook Wow. Every, anything. Okay. You from? Uh, have you ever been to Chicago? Uh, yes, I've been to Chicago before. You like it? Um, I didn't experience a lot of it, so I can't say if I liked it or didn't like it or not. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. She come out here, or whenever you out here, we could link, and I could probably show you around the city. Okay. Well, you can. Just... Wait, I have I have some question, Kendall. How Definitely. tall are you? Because we didn't, we, oh, we skipped Jasmine's requirements. So let's see. You I'm said you six. what? I'm five six. You oh. want? <laughs> okay, we got a pineapple. I'm sorry. We got a pineapple. Damn. Yeah. I'm you not five five six? Six? But you liked him, I feel. He was, yeah, he was cool. But like five six? No. It's not I'm five seven. seven. 
hey, I've dated shorter, so I'm like, I can't pass on a good man just because of height. Uh, I'm five seven. He five six. Uh, no. Yeah. Damn. Sorry, Kendo. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. We got Professor E. Hello. What's the deal? Oh, no, What's up, Jay Lou, baby? Pineapples. <laughs> you might be a Mac Dre. Do y'all know the rapper Mac Dre? I don't. So my family's from the Bay. So Mac Dre was like a huge icon in the Bay Area. And he was giving me Mac Dre vibes. I'm sorry. He said no. Okay. Uh, let me see. Who is JJ? JJ. Hello. Oh, hey. What's up, Jasmine? How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm fine. So uh, I see you're from Los Angeles, right? I live in Los Angeles, yes. Los Angeles, and mm -hmm. uh, your zodiac, your Gemini. Yes. Oh, I'm a Leo, so we're compatible. I see. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. like, so, like, tell me something that you couldn't live without. Um, something I couldn't live without my my faith in God and my faith. Yeah, like that's something I wouldn't be able to live without. So I would definitely. I would definitely say the same thing for me. I'm very uh, religious. I believe in God from the core. Like, uh, I just want to walk in the right path. I feel like when you obviously walk in the wrong path, you can't, like, how do I say it? It's just obvious. Like, when you do bad things and stuff, like, good things won't come to you, how you treat people and stuff like that. So. Yeah, like karma. Yeah, yeah. So... Um, how old are you? 31. 31. And where are you from? Houston. Oh, okay. I love Houston. And <laughs> <laughs> important question. How tall are you? 5'10". 5'10". Okay. You got that short. Okay, cool. But, um, I'm just going to have to say pineapple. Sorry. <laughs> no? Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm just like, I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I got Greg. Hi, Greg. What's going on? What? I said, what is going on, J Jasmine? Hi. Um, Medley? What's How up? How are y'all doing? Good. What about you? I am good. I am good. Cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where are you right now? I am in my room. Where? Like, um... What city what or country you? or city? I am in F Florida. Florida, okay. So, my question for for you, gentlemen, is uh -huh. what what traits in a in a guy do, do you look look for? Um, for a guy, I would want him to be very honest. Um, I would want him to be um, ambitious. I would want him to be very um, respectable, you know, a caring man, a kind man, a man that's kind to people. Very important. So. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? Um, how old are you? I am 28. Oh, 28. Oh, you're too young. I'm sorry. Pineapple. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like, no, nah, too young. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Somebody say you bluffing. <laughs> I didn't want to be mean. I didn't want to be mean. So I'm like, nah. I like the confidence. You came and tried. Yeah. Know? Hell yeah. yeah. The question, too. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. It was a your hell, not us. I think it's the chat. Yeah, it's the chat not. Was out of control. I'm actually <laughs> having good conversations with people. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I have Oscar. Hey, Oscar. How you doing? <laughs> you got that deep voice. Why you? Why is your voice like that? I don't know. Wait, how old are you? I'm 29. 29. Liar. <laughs> He looks oh. young. No, nah, you know what they say, man. Black don't crack. Okay, where are you? Where are you from? I'm from Houston. 
Houston. Okay, so a lot of people from Houston in here now. Yes, that's. Yeah, you just look really young. Yeah. You? Hey, uh, uh, huh? I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, I'm gonna just say pineapples. <laughs> I don't. But he looks just like he don't even. I know don't you. know. I don't think he was really <laughs> that age. I don't believe it. Twenty nine. No. And and then the voice too is killing me. It's like, are you trying to make your voice sound deeper? Like, mm -hmm. probably. Somebody said it's NBA Young Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Okay, let me see. I got uh, Chibs. Hello. Hello, Melly. How you doing? Good. How are you? What's up, Jasmine? <laughs> Hi. You love fitness, I love fitness too. Yeah, okay. my job here is to make you laugh and smile, entertain okay. you. That's it. Okay, so where, how old are you? Well, I'm in my late 30s. I'm only year plus. You said what? Yeah, you said he's frozen. Hello, can you hear me? We can. Uh, you're frozen, you're like you're paused. All right, here we go. Hello, yeah, yes. Oh, no? Okay. All right. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, wait, sir, are you here? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Wait, what's up? What's up? Hi. Hey. Let me get my camera right, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's going to fit. It, it normally works here. Oh, all right, cool. What's up, Jasmine? Hello, awake. Yeah, I got to go by Alia. Oh, okay. Where where are you from? Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta, okay. And how? I'm thirty. Thirty, okay. How old are you? Thirty-one. What's your sign? I'm a Gemini. <laughs> uh, so you got like a split personality. No. Is that like, like the logo though of Gemini? Yeah, we're People. just moody. Oh, it's the moodiness. Yeah, we can switch from, like, things can make our mood change really very quickly. So, yeah. I can agree to that. I've dated a Gemini before when okay. I was younger. So when was your last relationship? Uh, September. It was short. Oh, short? What happened? She cheated on me. Really? Yeah. How you found out? So yeah, how'd you find out? <sighs> girl in the dms a girl in the dms told you mm -hmm. oh wow are you okay yeah yeah i'm, I'm straight <laughs> okay i'm gonna say pineapples <laughs> i don't know it seemed like he's still uh, he seems he's still not yeah no he ain't over that okay let's see <laughs> uh hello you're here no? Okay. Hey, you're here? Yeah, what's good? Can we see you? Uh, is my cam not working? Yes, no, we don't see you. All right, hold up. Go to somebody. Let me try to get it uh, working because it should okay. be working. No problem. Wait, usually how long is this? We can finish soon. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Hi, Jasmine. How you doing, Melly? I'm good. How are you? All right, all right. Jasmine, you're very pretty. Thank you. Thank you. You're handsome. Oh, thank you. So, you, you're from L.A.? Uh, basically, yeah. Okay. Did you, go, you, you went to high school here? So, I'm from California originally, yes. Um, I grew up in Fresno, it's like Central Cali, but I've been in L.A. for like 10 years, so. Country Fresno, huh? Yeah, I'm from Fresno. <laughs> Then the fields out there. No, Fresno's cool. It's a cool little city. There you go. But yeah. What's up? Uh, okay. How old are you? Say it again. How old are you? 48. 48. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that might be a little bit too old for me. I don't, I'm not going to lie. So, pineapple. Sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me see. We'll do. Maybe one or two more. Let's see. 
D block, you're here? No? Okay. Yo, yo. Hi, hey. you? It's kind of dark in here. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. I just want to say you're looking real lovely. I see how you came. You came prepared. Thank you, got, you. I see what you're wearing, too. I see you got the Cleveland showing. You showing up for the fellas. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but look, sure I, look I know y'all look at my Instagram. I had to make sure I still I look like me, you know. <laughs> I hear you. Um, you came here for one reason, right? You looking for love? Um, yes. Yes. Do, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in love at first sight? Um, because I'm looking right at it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Your smile is a one too. Your smile is real nice. Thank you. But yeah, love at first sight. I don't know. Maybe. But what's your name? I don't even know what your name is. It's James. The name James. on there, it's an abbreviation for um my first and last name. Oh, okay. So where are you from, James? Detroit. Detroit. And that's where you live now? Currently up. Okay. And how old are you? 25. Damn. He's a, yeah, another baby. I'm a baby, but I got that 30-year-old demeanor. Okay. And and that's what that's what else I wanted to tell you. Um, you like you really give them that that grown woman demeanor. Thank you. Like, <laughs> like for real, and that shit's attractive. Okay, thank you. So, how do you feel about dating older women? What was that? How do you feel about dating older women? I'm actually attracted to that. I'd rather date older women because they they give off that. Well, not all of them. Let me let me back up. Um, because. <clears throat> Some women can some women can be 30, 40, but they still act like they're a kid. You feel me? So like right. that shit's a turn off. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm cool with it for sure. Okay. So um you being 25 and me being 31, what something that's like because ma being mature is like important. And you being younger. I mean, being older, I'm already thinking about like the mature levels because I've dated someone that was younger before, and that was the issue. I heard you say so, that. Yeah. So, what do you think? Um, what do you? Think, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think? Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> what do you think that you do that makes you more mature than like an average 25 year old? Um, shit, really. I just do my thing, man. I just, I stay out the way. I ain't like, I ain't in all the the drama. I try to stay in my own lane. I take my ass to work. You feel me? I just, I really just do me. Like, I'm not, I'm not with the bullshit. Okay. So where, um, what do you do for a living? So right now I got a nine to five. Um, Currently it's like a warehouse slash shop. We're a supplier for wood molding. We supply like all the trim that goes into new houses to contractors and shit like that. Also, I got a little uh, mobile detailing business. We'll actually come to you, clean your whip, clean the RV, um, jet ski, four-wheeler, whatever you got, we'll come detail it. Okay. Obviously, not right now because in Michigan, the season's kind of slowed down and whatnot, and I'm not trying to be freezing outside, so right. I take my ass to work. But um, but I'm actually trying to get into like um, like short-term rental, like Airbnb, but okay. that's only to get my foot in the door um to real estate so that i could uh save money invest and buy my own property and then rent and then you know or rent or sell you know property like that so that's kind of the plan okay ambitious i like it you um, me? <laughs> so what was when was your last relationship last relationship um i don't know if it really count it was last year i would say it was a short relationship um due to uh i feel like I feel like she was insecure type shit. So the shit didn't work and um just moved on. Um okay. What made you what makes you think she like insecure? Like what was she doing? You know, I have to like, say but... just weird questions and uh just like weird questions and shit, like the way like behavior really. Okay. So what do you I, mean, I can I read I read through shit. That's that's the main thing. I'll be reading through shit. So like <laughs> You feel me? I read through it and then I, I feed off of it. Okay. So what are you looking for in like a woman? In a woman, really just uh loyalty for one. That's most important. Loyalty, trust, honesty, um, caring. I want I like a chick that's funny, that can laugh, that could 
you feel me, be her and uh somebody that's just somebody that we can lock in, they ain't gonna switch up and just, you know, if there is problems, they can work it out. Communication, that's that's major. Communication for sure. So that's just a couple of things. Okay. Well, yeah, that's important. That's important. So if you do get in a relationship, what do you feel like you bring to the table, like in that relationship? Pretty much the stuff I just told you. I mean, I'm I'm gonna bring you, I'm gonna protect you in every aspect. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you laugh. Like if we in a situation where like if we had a funeral and like the motherfucker come up out the casket, if you look at me, I'm gonna laugh. Like I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> You feel me? I'm gonna laugh. So like I am gonna bring you laughter, shit like that. And um just loyalty, honesty, and stuff like that. Just like, you know. Oh my god. I'm, I'm dead sorry. ass. Like I'm in those situations, don't look at me because I'm gonna laugh. Like me I too. love to laugh. So do you know how to take things serious though when it needs to be I, serious? No, definitely. Okay. Like definitely but like you just you know how to have a good time. For sure. I'm okay. like I like to play a lot sometimes, but not on no childish shit. But like I like to laugh. I like to have a great time. Okay, that's that's good. That's important too. What's your ethnicity? I'm black. Fully black. Okay, I'm black and Puerto Rican. Okay, that's what's up. Six James. two. Um. Yeah. Go James, ahead, Melly. How tall are you? Six two. Okay, that's a good height. That's a good height. <laughs> Six two, Puerto Rican black. Uh, my name's James from Detroit. Do you have um, any no kids? Okay, that's no good. Kids. That's good. And I, I think I heard you say you wanted at least two. Yeah, at, at least two. Two is good. Two is good. No more than two. Yeah. I mean, you got you got to see how the first one go for real. Because I'm getting older, I feel that. and it's like you know, pregnancy take a lot on your body. So it's like after two, it's like you got yeah, you, you, you be you beating your body up a little bit. Exactly. Exactly. But um, be, well, what comes behind that is those um. Those good push gifts. Okay, push gifts. <laughs> I believe in that for sure. Even though I ain't got kids, but okay. a woman that has my kids, she for sure got to She gonna receive something on the back end. What are you getting her? <laughs> Shit, we gonna have to see. It depends. I, I gotta get to know her a little bit more. See what she really like. Actually, what? Let me ask you a couple questions. Um, what's on your bucket list? What are some things that are on your bucket list and some things that you haven't yet accomplished? Um, on my bucket list, one of my main things is I want to start like a nonprofit um, because being in L.A., it's a lot of homeless people out here. I hear and, that a lot. Yeah. So I also, I definitely want to start a nonprofit for doing things like that. And also um, I talked about creating like safe places for women. Um, so that. Safe places for women to where they can come and talk about, you know, um, traumas or just friendships. Because a lot of women move to L.A. and they feel like they can't find, like, solid core groups of friends. Um, so that's important to me, too. Like, I want to create something where women can come and, like, share their experiences, meet other women who are in the same, like, you know, um, career field as them or... Um, also, um, meet other women who are doing different things that everybody just share their journey of how they got there. And, you know, also share information. Um, a lot of people gatekeep in LA, like it's hard to like get information out of people when you need help for certain things. People don't like to help people. So it's people like, do not like to help. So it's like, like I feel like inform not to cut you off, but information is key. Like if I got information that can help somebody, mm -hmm. that shit is free. It's like free game, you know? So why not help somebody and pass that shit on? Cause it's going you know, it's like a cycle. <laughs> <laughs> they funny as hell. We're not gonna pay them no 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 attention. But um, I got a couple more questions. Um, what what's your biggest fear? Uh, my biggest fear is to live life and not live in life without finding my purpose. Like that's that might be my biggest. That's big. Fear. Yeah, yeah. That's big. Um. What's a uh, what's a deal? What's the biggest deal breaker in a relationship? Me, I don't, I don't like lying, and I don't like cheating. I hate liars. So lying can't stand a liar. It's just like that's um, it's not good for me because I'm very honest. I'm very loyal. So yeah, lying and cheating. No, you're cut off. I'm sorry. I feel that that's huge. Yeah. So. 
Uh, what's the um what's the chances of of me taking you on a date? <laughs> I'm sorry. That kind of, huh? That you, you I was gonna find you playing in my makeup. I'm sorry. Yeah, I see in there. I ain't trying to pay them no attention. They don't like that. Why are they playing with you like that? They got me fucked up. They hating on the kid. <laughs> Light skin. <laughs> I need a haircut, I ain't gonna lie. But what were Looking you gonna at, sorry? What'd you say? You're gonna ask me something. Um you said, what are the chances for you? Oh, yeah. What are the chances of me taking you on a date? Um, I don't know. We live in two different uh, states. That's the... Uh, I don't know. I feel like I would have to get to know you a little bit. Have you bit. been here? Mm. Have you been to Michigan? I've been to, like, the airport passing, but I've never, like, been in Detroit, no. Just, like, some layover type shit? Yeah. I got you. Yeah. So. For sure. Well, you got any uh, other questions for me? Uh, no, I don't think I have any more questions. Okay, well, I ain't gonna take up too much time. Melly, shout out to you, you're doing your thing. Thank um, you. It was nice meeting you, Jasmine. And uh, if you're interested, I guess just hit Melly. Whatever, we can chat. We can make something happen. Okay. All right. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Did you like him? He was cool for him to be 25. Like he seemed like he was mature, level-headed. Mm -hmm. um, he knew how to have a conversation. So, yeah. He seemed decent. Okay. All right. I'll give you one more because he was here before and... The last he, one. Last one. Okay. Hey. Trey. Made it. Oh, Made he's it the good. last one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Made it. What's good? I love What's Trey. Up? How you? So, pretty good. What about yourself? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm having fun. Yes, yeah, I, I seen you. I seen you. All these uh all these people coming up here. But um yeah, major question I wanted to ask you is um how's your relationship with your family? Uh my family, me and my family have a good relationship, me and my mom. Um we have a better relationship now that I'm older. Um mm. I grew up with all brothers. I was the only girl, the baby girl. So like, yeah, my mom grew up, I grew up with a very strict mom. So, but now that I'm older, yeah, we have a way better relationship. Um, and with my family, we have a good relationship. My brothers, grand, my grandparents, all of that. Because like, I'm from the South. Yeah. I, know. Oh, I, I was that's reading right. a comment. I'm from Houston, Texas. So that's what's up. I love Houston. It's one of my favorite places, actually. Yeah, I heard. That's why I had to hop in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Houston is a great place. I love Texas. So, uh, oh, go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. What was you saying? I said, how old are you, Trey? 32. 32. That's what's up. And you born and raised in Houston? I was born in Mount Clemens, Michigan. My family is military. So I was, but I was raised in Houston. So I've been oh. in H Town since forever. Uh, oh. Went up to Virginia for college, then came back. Okay. That's what's up. What college did you go to? Mason. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's right, literally, like, probably about 30 minutes from Howard on the train line. Okay, because I also had some friends that went to VCU, so. Yeah, my sister went to VCU. Yeah. That's we, don't, we, don't, we don't mess with them too much around here. You know, VCU and Mason, we we was rivals. So, um, when was your last relationship? Uh, About a year and a half ago. How? What happened with that? Uh, not just just grew apart. I mean, I ain't gonna go bad talk. It is some things that I could have done better, some things that she could have did better. I mean, it just is what it is. Was there cheating involved? No. Okay, that's good. Nah, no cheating. That's good. So, how are you? Um, do you have any kids or anything? Or I got one. One kid. Okay. How's the relationship with your kid and your kid's mother? Oh, the relationship is amazing with my kid. Uh, as far as me and her. We communicate when we have to. The so cordial. I wouldn't, because cordial makes it seem like, you know, you still speak. Literally, if it has nothing to do with him, we don't speak. Oh, okay. Oh, so you have a son? Yes. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. Well, what are you looking for in a woman? Um, Just basically some, no chance. <laughs> You said what? Nah, I was reading that comment. <laughs> that comment? <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Hell to the now. But anyway, um, just looking for basically somebody who I like a woman who knows what she wants in life. Um, 
the type of person I am, if if it's something that you want and we together, we can work towards that together. Okay. Um, somebody that's agreeable, I mean, like, like I said, I like to go out, I like to do stuff, I like to do fun stuff. Um, really? <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm reading these comments. I mean, but, but you know, they're asking it's, that because you say we don't it's, talk unless it's for it's, my son. So it's, it's like mutual. Trust me, bad it's, blood or something. On my end, yes, for me to her. So it, it is my decision that we do not speak. Mm. Okay. So, um, but yeah. So just somebody who knows what they want in life. Um, like I said, I'm chilled. I'm laid back. Um, close to my family. So somebody, and that's why I asked about the family, because um, it's six of us. If you not, if you don't include my foster brothers, because my family fosters. So. Um, really big on family um and just somebody who likes to i mean i travel a lot for work um so somebody who likes to travel and i see that you like to travel so i like that um yeah just <laughs> Yo, I can't He's coming. look and that's funny because it happened to my brother that don't happen to me nah it, it ain't that it, it is some some stuff but like i said it, it ain't i ain't gonna bad mouth on here it is what it is she's the baby <laughs> Okay, so what? Tom is ruthless. So what? That's all right. Look. So, oh, go ahead. Sorry. What's something that you feel like you bring to a relationship that, um, what's some good traits that you feel like you bring to a relationship? One is, like I said, if you, if you got my back, I got your back. Um, I'm the type of person I feel like I can mold my environment to suit my needs. So that's something that I bring to, you know, who I'm dealing with and, and with my family. So if you say that you want something to happen or you need something to happen in your life, I'm the type of person that I'm going to figure out a way to get it. Okay. So, and like I said, that just came with, um, with just everything in my life. Cause even in college, I got my degree in microbiology. So I was also a track and field athlete. So mm -hmm. I went to school on a track scholarship. And I remember the first week I went in there, my academic advisor said that, you know, people do not graduate track and field athletes or athletes period don't graduate with, you know, degrees in micro. So as soon as you told me I can't do something, I'm going to do it. And that's something that I bring with, with anything. And I bring that to the table and, I mean, like I said, I got a good career. Um, and like I said, the main thing is I'm just supportive. So it is what it is. <laughs> he said she likes tequila. I'm as crazy, bro. <laughs> I do like tequila. So, yes, I do love tequila. Um, I got the got the gentleman over here. Okay. He got his little drink going. I should have got my drink. Um, so are you, uh, me being a woman, are you, like, affectionate? Like, because I know some men don't like to be affectionate and they... That's an issue for them. Is that an issue for you? It it depends. Uh, I'm a Virgo, so we we got our moments when yeah we affectionate, then we got our own other moments. So it really depends what I got going on in my life. He got dentures. You need to feed him, girl. Man, get the hell out of here. That's like, hey, look, all y'all talking trash. Come see me. I got something for you. You already know how we moved down to Houston. Like, let the shit get it confused. We don't need no violence. It's just. Huh? It's okay. Oh, it ain't it ain't about no violence. I'm just saying. <laughs> but all these dudes talk trash. Go ahead. How about that? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, but um So affection is really not your thing. I wouldn't say it's not my thing. It's just like I said, it just depends on what I got going on. If I got like a lot of stuff going on at work and I'm focused on stuff with the business, then yeah, but then like I said, that's all just to to grind and do what I gotta do. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to say pineapples. <laughs> All right. That's cool. It is what it is. <laughs> you didn't like him? Ed, whoa. No? How, you said what? I said you didn't like him? Yeah. I just, the way he was popping off at the comments, it's like, relax. Like, we just laughing. It's all for fun. Whatever. Yeah. Like, having a conversation. Stick here. We right here, right here, right here. <laughs> for sure. Hey, I mean, you know, when you come online, you never know what people are going to say. They're going to go yeah. crazy. So. Yeah. But I'm like, you know, the comments, it was funny. But, and then him not affectionate like that, like, I don't like that. I need my yeah. man to be affectionate. Uh-uh. 
I can see that. Okay, well, the, I mean, the room is full, but I think uh, you got to go. What time is it? It's eight your time, I think. Oh, yeah, it is eight. And then I don't want my phone to die because I feel like my phone is about to die. Yeah, because it's still uh, it's still full. Uh, do you want to do like a, a speed a speedy one? Like Yeah, because yeah, usually how long do you guys do this for? We do like an hour and a half or two hours. So you okay. We're in the time right now, but um, I like to give the chance to everybody to talk to, so you can do a, a speed round if you want. Okay, we can do fast ones because I'm like fast hours now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi, pineapples. <laughs> it's gonna go fast now. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Hello, Amani. Hey, beautiful. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. Um, so pineapple? Sorry? <laughs> you said pineapple? <laughs> <laughs> she was about to say it. That's why I... No, um, so where do you live? Uh, Toronto. Toronto? Oh, you live in Canada. Wow. Yes. Listen, you are beautiful. I just came here to get to know you more. Yeah, well, thank you. Okay, pineapple. Do you have... A Guys, when you come on, you need to talk like right away. There is no time this time. All right. Hi. All right. What is it? Was late. Deep end management. Yeah, it's real. Huh? Yeah, that's a real deal. Oh, yeah. You guys are so pretty. Go ahead, sis. Go oh, ahead. Thank you. <laughs> no cap. Hope you having a good night. Night. Hope everything going your way. I hope it's on. Uh, flowing and going. I ain't gonna hold it too long because it's been two hours. Um, I'm 30. Okay. 30, 30. My name. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, pineapples because we ain't got time. <laughs> she messed it up for you. Uh, I said. Cold. Hello? Uh, it's getting cold. Hello? I said, who you with? I said, tape. Oh. Okay, pineapples because I don't know what they got going on. Mm -hmm. We speed dating. Hello. What's up, what's up? How you doing, Belly? <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. I'm just enjoying the show. Uh, I, I like you, uh, Jasmine. You got a lot of good qualities and traits in you. You know what I mean? Oh, <clears throat> now, real quick about me. Well, I'm 36. Uh, just turned 36 in November. I'm a Sagittarius. I heard you uh, was talking about Sagittarius uh, earlier in the show. Uh, yeah. Got a couple of businesses myself. I've been on the show before. Uh um, the only thing is, I mean, I probably meet a lot of your your, your standards, but that whole thing, man, you got to kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we out here too now. We, I mean, hey, I, hey, listen, I know I'm shorter than you. That's it. That's all we got to tell you. That. I mean, you, you ain't going to pine up me anyway. So at the moment, I just want to say you have some good traits, qualities. Just give us a little chance too out here now because we, we some ballers out here now. Hmm? What's that? I said, have some confidence though. Like I have confidence, baby. Look, listen. If, hey, I walk with you. I got confidence. I don't make. I don't date it models and everything. I got confidence. I was just saying, you got good traits and quality. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I mean, you got to give us a chance too. I mean, you can't. Okay, listen. You want to say that? I'm five five. I mean, it is what it is though. But at the end of the day, I, I own you know a lot of things as far as my Airbnb. I do tax. I'm a tax preparer. Uh, I'm in sales. You know. Uh, what what, can I, what else? Can I, do? I do I do a lot of things. I'm kind of like a, a hustler at the end of the day. I take care of my mother. She's seven, she just turned seventy nine. Bless her the heart today. Oh, happy uh, birthday! So, um, she got a lot. She got a lot of stuff going on. She lost her husband about eight years ago. So I took on took on a lot of responsibility at a younger age than most men did. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's just uh, at the end of the day, it's just uh, all I was just coming on here. I know it's a little speed dating type of thing right now. I just wanted to. Put it out there, like you just gotta give us some men some chance. I mean, we we some good men. I mean, good quality other traits as well too. Yeah. Small things coming I mean, big package. You know but at the end of the day, you know, you're a beautiful woman. So I just just give us some chance out here. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate you. So, yeah. I right. All right. Good night. Okay. Bye. <laughs> We're trying real quick. Hi. Oh no. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Flavor Flav? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cannot. 
don't know. <laughs> Hello. Oh, is he at the club? I think so. Is he at the club? <laughs> Hello, ladies. What's going on? Oh, he's not at the club. Where are you? I feel I'm at work. Yeah, I'm at a, a, it's a private spot. <clears throat> but I just wanted to, you know, say hi. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, you know, Jasmine and Lily. Big fan of the show. Thank you. Okay, well, you enjoy your night. Thank you, thank you. Okay, the night in his daughter's basement. <laughs> I was like, he's not at a party, there is no music. Yeah, like, what? Hey, what's up? Glory and praise. Glory. Yeah, what's going on? I just, I know this is going through fast. I just wanted to read you something, you heard? Yeah, okay. Um, for me, I'm going to tell you where it's come from afterwards. You always say, do not curse the worldly life. You know? It is indeed a good vehicle for the believer through which he can do good deeds and through it he will be safe from evil. You know? the, the beginning where you say, don't curse the worldly life, it's, it means like, because you're not supposed to dip deep, you're not supposed to dip too far into the worldly life, into materialism. You feel okay. me? Well, I have a question. Where are you right now? In my room. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, I, I I keep the shades down now, so that when it's morning time, I can get that that golly light. Okay. Like it used to keep my room dark, where I used to be too comfortable. You know, I was I was hidden from the reality of the light coming in. But now, as soon as the light come in, now it's like I'm up. Like six o'clock in the morning, I'm up. You know, all that energy. You know, it's important. Okay. Okay. Well, you enjoy your night. <laughs> well, I, yeah, well, you absorb that message I just told you. The spiritual is way better than the materialism. For me, don't. You, That's a fact. That's a fact. You fall into that world, you are rebound for destruction. <laughs> I thought he was in jail. That's why I was like, where are you at? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, in my room. <laughs> I'm like, uh. <laughs> sure. Okay. We got. Two more, and then okay. I, I let you go. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh shit! Shit! I'm in the game. Wait, hold on. Hey, <laughs> I'm in the I game. Just, I just want to ask you one thing, though. Okay. Before we go and shit, you know, um, so I heard you talk, and you talked a lot of this and that, you know, um, jibber jabber. You know, you said, you know, you you with this, and you with that, and you then think went, so? oh, no, no, but listen, 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 no, like, listen, listen. I'm I'm still talking. Like, don't cut me off. So okay. pineapples. <laughs> all right. He's not talking. I agree. He, he said, wasn't saying nothing. He wasn't saying nothing. So I'm like, what? Okay, pineapples. And the last one. Cheers. Oh, I'm sorry about. I'm sorry about what happened. I'm sorry. It was a technical problem. So I want to be the reason you smile before you leave the show. Okay. Thank you. You want us that? Yes. It's called I Need a Girl by Didi. I Need a Girl. I like that song. To ride my ride, I need to go to make my wife. I need to go with my oh my. I need to go in my. You are just touching on the microphone. I got it all, but I really need a wife for her. Don't really like the zone. Never spend a night alone. I got a few who you like to born. Yeah, she gonna romance me, tickle my fancy. Tiffany Nancy, there's no way the plans be. I get a sandwich. Bring me your family. Good trips to dealer. And most of the skills confusing me. I don't know if they really love me or they're using me. Maybe it's the cop the money they ain't used to me. Cause they're depressed and now you abusing me. This need a girl who is true to me. No about the game to do to me. Without a girl by my side, you ruining me. Forget the world, it's just me and you. Let's try. I need a girl to ride my ride. I need a girl to make my wife. I need a girl who's my own my. I need a girl in my life. <laughs> Thank you for that. Because I actually like that song. Pardon? I like that song. You switched some of the words around, but that's okay. <laughs> it, was a vibe. it was a vibe. Thank you. I'm going to leave. I made your day. Did I make your day? I 
night. You definitely. So did. sorry. So thank you for coming to the pineapple show. Uh, you you're looking okay. You're nice. You your fitness. I like fitness. Yeah. You like someone? I'm five eight. That's the problem. Uh, you five seven. I'm five eight. Mm -hmm. Something like that. But uh, you cool. You cool. You cool. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your okay. night. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm right, gonna end on that. <laughs> that was a great way to end this. I promise you, because that sure. definitely put a smile. That was funny, hilarious. Well. All right. Well, I I uh, appreciate you for coming. Did you Did you find your husband tonight? I don't know if I found my husband, but I do want to apologize to everybody for being late because I definitely was like 15 minutes late. I apologize. But no, that was actually really fun. Like to sit and because, you know, like if you're talking to dudes on Instagram, you're like DM me. But like to actually see their face, kind of feel their vibe, their energy. Like that was actually really dope. So awesome for having me on the show. I was nervous at first. I'm not going to lie. I was like, Melly got me on here about to do this show, but. I was like, she's not coming. I was like, oh my God, she's she's leaving me on red. She's not coming no more, guys. I was like, it's not going to be a show. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry. I apologize for being late. I, I apologize. Oh, but good. That was really fun. I really appreciate that. Awesome. Well, uh, we'll see. Some Hopefully, some of the guys might come to your DMs and, you know, something might, might come after that. I don't know, but if it does, I'm gonna be like, shout out to Melly. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. For All right, girl. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, and uh, do you need to promote anything? I don't know. Um, no, I don't have anything to promote right now. But my Instagram is on here. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Instagram. So yes. All she right. Well, I appreciate you. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. You have a good night. You Bye. Too. All right, guys, this was Jasmine. So if you guys didn't get a chance to talk to her, this is her IG. I'm trying to not show this window, but hey, whatever. So guys, yeah, that's it. How did you guys like her? I think you guys liked her because I didn't see a lot of mean comments about her. I saw like she she was pretty. She a real one. Yes, I agree. Um, oh, you guys are going to buy it fast. Follow her on IG. Yes, you guys follow her. Go check her out. She got a bunch of cute pictures. She be traveling. She's fun. She be dancing, drinking. She's fun. You guys should follow her. Um, she was dope. Yes. All right. You guys like her. I like that. Uh, she's cool. She wifey. All right. Yo, you guys like her. I like that. All right. Um, what else we, we're saying right now? Uh, she can come back. I mean, she'll come back probably at some point. We'll, we'll see if she's still single. Maybe she'll come back. Um, let's see. So, guys, if you missed her, I'm sorry. The show is over. I apologize we started late, but, hey, she made up for the time. She stayed a, a good, a good like, two hours for us. So, not bad. Um, somebody said, usually we trash, not tonight. Okay, no, the the um, the chat is never trash. You guys be funny as hell. That's what it is. Uh, but yeah, that's it. She dope slash classy. All right, I like that. Um, well, that's it, guys. Uh, I don't know if you remember. I told you while I'm overseas, we're not doing the um, the talent show because it's it be stressing me. I mean, I guess my internet was better tonight, so so I'm kind of happy with that. But um, who say free Melly? Free Melly actually worked. Hey, we, we got to work. We got to be here. You know, I really appreciate all of you for always pulling up for me. So I got to come even when I'm overseas, at least for the pineapple show. You know, the, the talent show, I just want to find you some really good judges so that, you know, it makes sense for, for the people to come. So that's really my thing because I could keep on bringing the same, but I really want to bring others. So um, I'm working on it. I've been DMing people, but people are already busy and it's annoying. I mean, good for them, bad for us. Uh, so so I'll be trying. But hey, if maybe, or if you guys, I don't know, maybe you guys can help me with that. If you know somebody that's like really like um, maybe a little connected in the music industry that you think might be a good judge, you know, you can recommend me some people and then I check them out and I see like if that's someone that, you know, that could come and be the judge on here for us, but I'll be trying. 
uh, somebody say, we'll still be here with Shitty Judge. Yeah, but that's not the point. The point is for you like to have a connection and maybe do something and so they can help you or whatever, you know? But if you guys know anybody that's in the music industry who has a label, like a legit <laughs> label, and, um, you know, someone who, that makes sense, pretty much. Um, okay, I wanted to address some stuff because I'm receiving some messages and emails. If you guys are thinking you're talking to me on WhatsApp, it is not me. If there is, um, sometimes I see in the comments on my videos, there's uh, somebody with my picture and all of that talking about, yeah, you can come and talk to me on WhatsApp. That is not me. Anybody asking you for money, that is not me again. Um, just know, you know, especially if it's somebody coming from Instagram, if the account is not verified, it's not me. Uh, what else? What else can I tell you? I'm just saying, like, usually I don't really see comments on videos. So if you see me, because I see them and I see sometimes... Uh, mm, it's like an account responding to, to the comments and stuff. And I'm like, guys, this is not me. So, so make, make sure uh, you don't fall into that and thinking, you know, because I, I get some emails talking about, you blocked me on WhatsApp. I'm like, we never talked on WhatsApp. So I know that wasn't me. Um, but yes, yeah, just be careful. You know, people be doing dumb shit. Don't send no money to nobody because it's not me. Um, I got the... I don't know, you guys, uh, I'll show you. I don't know if I can show it here. Let's see, let's see if I can figure it out. Um, I got the, um, the traveling channel. I got the, fuck, what's the name? I can talk right now. I got uh, what's the, the banner, the banner for the traveling channel. The channel is not ready yet. You guys maybe can, can vote or maybe I'll make a poll. But um, I don't know if I can share the screen like that. Let me see. We're going to try sharing the screen on something. Let, let me see if we can do that. So you guys will let me know if um, which one you like, actually. Uh, wait, I don't know. Do I want to share all of this? Is that too much to share? I don't know. Let's see. No, that might be too much to share. Wait, let me see. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to download it so you guys can just see the, the thing downloaded so you can... Okay, I think that's better. So you guys tell me. So I'll show you one and two, and then you tell me which one you guys like. I'm still trying to figure this out. I don't know if I can. Eh. Let me see. Because it's a picture, so sometimes it's not working out like the way I want to. But let me see. Uh, I think it's fine. I think I can show you like that. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's fine how it is right now. So, oh, it, it is sharing right now, actually. Yeah. So, guys, that's number one. So, Melly Travel. So, you see my, my guy did some, um, some, he put some main cities around the stuff, some clouds and, you know, a passport. So, that would be one. And the second one is, let me show you the second one. And that's the second one. So you guys, in the chat, if you're checking it out, put one or two. Let me know which one which one you like. Uh, oh, somebody said, don't like it. Which one you're talking about? Please uh, specify one or two. Um, or one is you like number one, two is you like number two, or maybe you don't like shit. I don't know. Uh, all right, one, one, two, two, zero, okay, <laughs> one for sure, why just your head, I don't know, that's, that's my guy, you know, I let him do this stuff, okay, two, 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 okay, so you guys like the two, somebody say three, sir, <laughs> there is no three, so you don't like it, I'll show you again for the ones who missed, that's number one, and that's number two. So you guys let me know. Let me know a 69. You guys are out of control. Okay, two, deuce and a quarter. Okay, it's mostly mostly two, I guess. Many put your lips close to the screen. Excuse me, stop it. <laughs> now you make me go back. 
Uh, but yeah, so I'll put it in the, I'll make a poll so you guys can, can pick which one you like, you like best, but that's what we got for now. Um, all right. What, what else is going on? Um, I don't know. I think that that's about it. You know, we're, we're done for the week of, uh, of the lives and, uh, we'll come back next week, you know, Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. L.A. I don't know where else you are, but, you know, uh, and same for Wednesday. And then I'll be I'll be traveling. So I'm going to to Switzerland on Friday, I believe. And then I'm going to London. I've been recording a lot of stuff. I haven't really been posting on social media because it's just a lot going on, trying to make sure I take care of all the business, see all the people I need to see. And you know, still like being on um, on time for you, dropping videos and doing everything. So I hope you guys bear with me <laughs> during these tough times for me. But uh, we'll be back in LA in no time. Um, okay, somebody say Luke say he thinks two it's better than one. I think so too. Uh, that's it. Try the Swiss cheese. Yes, I mean I like cheese. I, I've tried it before, but I was here, so so we're gonna see. Melly, I've been in Barcelona. I come through. I don't think I have time. I'm only staying three days in Switzerland, three days in uh, London, and then I'm back. I think I'm going to Geneva. That's Geneva, uh, in um, Switzerland, and then just London, seeing some friends, and then coming back here. And that's all. That's all we're doing. So guys, I appreciate you. I don't think, um, uh, let me say hi to some people who are still here, but we're gonna go, it's 5.30 out here. I need to get a little sleep. My mom wants me to go somewhere with her in the morning, which is in three hours. So we're gonna see, let me see. Hey, you're playing, what game you're playing? No, I'm just on YouTube. You're just on YouTube? Did you watch the show? Yes. Did you want to talk? Later. No, I know you'd be trolling. So I see you sometime and I'm like, he's just trolling. He's not even really trying to talk. Later. <laughs> it's early. Where are you at? Talking about it's early. Where you at? It's, it's early where you at. Yeah, but it's like I haven't been to sleep. So. Oh, yeah, you stand up. Yeah. Where where are you? I'm in the laptop. Where? Melly. You don't want to tell me what city you're in? I'm in Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay. Where are you going? You're tired. You're tired. Okay. Well, go to sleep. Stop being on YouTube. Go to sleep. Uh, well, he left me. He was like, I, I'm, I'm leaving right now. He just hung up on me like that. Um, let me see. I have Daquan. Hey, Daquan. What up, Mel? Nothing how much. How are you? I'm, a good, I'm doing good. How, is, how are you enjoying your uh, vacation and uh, seeing your family and everything? It's been good. It's been actually a little stressful because, you know, I'm trying to make everything happen as far as the channel, but also seeing everybody and people are working. So it's like, I can't see people during the day, really. So I'm mostly with my mom during the day and at night is when I can try to see everybody, but it's tough, you know? Yeah, just some things I want to talk to you about real quick. Just some things I want to talk to Like when you were uh, deciding for a name for your uh, travel channel, I, I put in like Melly's Adventures. I think Melly Adventures like would have been like but better, but Melly Travels is good too. Yeah, um, so, okay. yeah. I've been hitting you up on IG, and I know your DMs on IG is crazy. But I sent you like ten questions, like, like. But I can ask some of the questions if you really want. Like, this couple. I'm not gonna say get them, them all. It's like only like ten. But I'm gonna do five if you have time for do it just real quick. Five. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Go. Go. Give me some. So, what does your typical day look like? What does a typical day look like for you? Right now, or when I'm in LA. Or like in in general. Okay, in general, I wake up around seven or six thirty. Uh, I meditate. I work out in the house. I don't really go to the gym no more. It's just eh. 
Oh, so okay. We have that in common. I love that I work out. Like, I wake up, like, early in the morning, like, to, like, let know I go to the gym, I go to Planet Fitness. So, yeah, I love to meditate and work out. Mm -hmm. So, my next question is, what is your craziest dream? And I'm not talking sexually either. Okay, thank you for, for making sure. <laughs> my craziest dream, um, I don't know. I don't really have any. I feel like I can do everything I want. So, so and it's not so much about meeting some, some celebrity or meeting some big people. Um, I don't know, maybe, okay, maybe right now would be, I mean, I hope it's not a dream, but like having a family, that would be great. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I, I, I really foresee that. Like you having a family. I did, you know, this is my actually, this is actually kind of crazy. I was kind of, I've been trying to tell you this for the last times you went live. Um, it was sometime last month. I had, I like, I had a couple of dreams about you, like us meeting in person and actually like us going out and like doing stuff together. Like I, yeah, like honestly, oh, yeah. like no child. Like I have, I have had dreams about you. Like honestly, not nothing, nothing sexual. Like, <laughs> so my next question is like, um, what is one thing? What is one important thing about you that I should know? What is one what? What is the, what is one? What are you most passionate about at the moment? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. Cause I don't know. All I do is fucking YouTube. So uh I mean like if you had something to do outside of YouTube, like what would it be? Like do you like have goals like you still want to achieve? Like what like what are things you, you want to learn or like you wish you were better at? Okay. That you guys have good questions. Um I mean, something right now that I'm passionate about is I'm passionate about um, traveling because I want to go to a lot of places. I haven't been almost anywhere, I feel. I mean, I've been a lot of places in Europe, but it's so much more than just Europe. So, um, so yeah, I would like to travel more. Okay. My next question is, um, what is one thing about you that would surprise me the most? Mm. Okay, I can say that. Okay, that's that's a bad one. But um, I used to wet the bed until I was like twelve. Wow. I mean, not every night, but <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean well that. like that. That's that's interesting. Like that's kind of that's like okay, that's okay. That's it's a little out there, but I'm okay with that. It's it's so, out there, but hey, it's done. I I don't do that no more. It's I got it under control now. Okay, so my 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 la very last question is like, I know I've asked you this. I know you probably still think about. I would really like to talk more with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis so we can get to like talk, have more conversations like this. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm waiting patiently for you to hit me back on the D like hit me back in the DMs on IG. Like, so weird. I still don't see your DMs, but I follow you. So like, I yeah, I, like we follow each other. Like I, I've been like, I, like I text you every morning, like good morning, like good, good morning, good afternoon. How you doing? Like stuff like that. Just check in on you to see how you doing. But yeah, I really want us to talk one on one because I really would love to get to know you more and like actually take you out. Like, like I'm like I'm like no, honestly, like I really feel you. Like I really like want to see where this thing goes, but I can't do it alone because I can't be the only one that's trying or putting in the effort. Like I want to like I'm having great communication with you. Like I'm hitting you up. I know you always busy like during your day and doing like finding research, doing your videos and stuff like that. So I know your schedule is pretty busy, but at least I want to make the I'm making time for you, and I hope you can do the same for me. Hey, you're coming on strong. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know if if we can date. You know. You never know. We never know if we don't try because faith is taking the first step. Even when we don't see a whole staircase, you know, you never know how things are going to turn out if you don't try. Life and love is about taking risks, and you can't let the bad men 
cloud your judgment like, and, and stop you from finding true happiness and like true love and true and happiness. And like I said, I really want to see where things go. Like, but I can't do that unless you don't give me the chance to. And mm-hmm. I know I said I, the last question was the last question, but what is your story? Like, what is your story? My story? Uh-huh. Um, I think it's the, my story is very similar to, to like a lot of people, you know, I grew up in uh, the ghetto a little bit, you know, and then just trying to, to make things happen and better my life, better my family's life, you know? Right. And, and I really respect that. I really do. So with that being said, like you said, like, it's crazy, like, how you don't see my DMs, because I, like, I can literally show you. I, like, literally messaged you, like, like, I literally, like, hit you up in the DMs, but, like, I don't know why you can't see Okay, questions, because maybe I'm not aware. If I follow you, you follow me. When you Mm -hmm. send me a DM, should it go to my regular DMs, or it goes to the request? I I, I don't know. Uh, Hold on, let me show you. My regular DMs, I should see, but I don't see any yeah, I, messages from you. I think, I think, I think we're in, I think we're in primary. I think we're in primary. I think we're in either uh primary. I, I think it's either primary or general. But I have hit you up. Look, I have hit you up. Like, I they have hit. <laughs> no, for real. I literally have hit you up. Like, I don't know I'm why. Gonna, I'm gonna put your name right now in my yeah. stuff and see where you are. What's your, oh no, I, I put Daquan, that's, oh no, you came up actually, Ace, Ace the Uno? Yeah. Okay. I do see them. Okay, they're all here. You mm-hmm. even called Daquan. Come yeah, on. I even called because I wanted to talk to you one on one. Well, I want to I wanna apply the right kind of pressure. The right kind of pressure. Hey, that pressure might be too much. Um, I'm sorry. No, no, Daquan. I'm reading and I'm like, what are you doing? Good oh, afternoon, Melly. Good evening, Melly. Good morning. Daquan. I, mean, I hit you like once a day, like once a day, one, maybe once or twice, but that's about it. I don't like that's That's about it. Why are you looking at me like that? I mean, at least, like, at least I'm being, at least I'm being honest and like not coming off like thirsty or desperate. At least I'm like, like, you know, I'm, I want to be respectful. Like, I'm, I want to be respectful. But like I said, I really like you, and I would like really love to see where this thing, like, us build, build something, like build, like build or something. I'm seeing all your messages now, and I'm like, you're out of control. I'm sorry. I'm not meaning to come off out of control. Well, thank you for Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm seeing mm-hmm. this now. I'm sorry I'm late. Merry Christmas to you too. I see happy birthday. Well, thank you. Um, no, I mean, I know you're saying, well, if you don't try, you don't know, but am I supposed to try with everyone? Well, not, I wouldn't say everyone because I know you don't want to come get off, give off that kind of energy and that kind of persona. But what I will say, because like I said, still at the end of the day, it's your choice and what you decide to do. And I respect whatever you choose. But I hopefully you can like see the real good in me because you, I like you. I mean, you knowing who I am and how and how I am and what kind of man I am and know what my maturity and my mindset and my mentality is like and know that I'm dating with a purpose that I'm not about bullshit, that I want something long term and meaningful. So I'm not saying you have to give that to everyone, but. Like I, I honestly feel that I'm worthy, and that I, I've, like I've proven myself to like to deserve a chance, to deserve a chance with you to see where things go. Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> don't be looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever you have. I don't know. So whenever you have free time, like I said, like you see the DMs, like whenever you have free time, like or spare time to like to, uh, to make time, like I would really love for us to talk like on IG for us to like video call. And I'm going to like end up just, like um, subscribing, like becoming a member on your channels and also on your Patreon. OK, uh, well, Patreon is better. You, you already know. True. Yeah, I know. It's worth it. It's really worth it. Like, I don't want. <laughs> No, it's really worth it. Mm-hmm. But 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 I think 
But before we get to that point, I think we should start on our, out on IG first before before like we move to Patreon. Like if that's okay, if that's okay with you. Uh, <laughs> you want to tell me? Uh, what well, Patreon is easier? True. Uh, All right. I, I won't be missing your messages. Yeah, I, 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 you won't miss any of my messages. All right, that's fine. I can, we can do Patreon. I don't mind paying for it. Okay. I love that smile. That smile is contagious. I remember how you told me my smile is contagious because like, the first time I ever made you laugh, the smile was like, oh my God. Oh my God, no. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm the show dead. was the show was funny tonight. I ain't gonna lie. The, the, the comments was going wow. Yo, I'm like, yo. Mm -hmm. But yeah. but like I said, I yeah, I was speechless. And like how you were like laughing. Someone like I think Sean, like Sean John, she said uh when when you uh when you was having technical difficulties, someone like Sean was like uh, the claws calling Melly. Like I'm not even calling her. I haven't. I didn't even call her when she went like when she went out for a few seconds. That was not even me. <laughs> but yeah. But honestly, but like I love, I love making you smile. I love putting a smile face and making your day. Well, I appreciate and just, you for doing that. Yeah, and just and just talking to you, general, is the, is the greatest gift I can ever receive from you and us being real close friends. I actually put you in my close friends. Yeah, I don't see your story. I haven't. That's because I've been posting in the last couple of days because I've been doing I've been doing like school work and stuff like that because I want to become a certified like chef and also like designer slash wardrobe chef. So that's what I'm going to school for. So, but so once I like once I get that like like I like I'm making time. Like I said, I have the ambition. I have the drive. But when it comes to you, I'm making sure like I'm making time for what really matters. What's really what really matters to me. And you what really matters to me. So I'm gonna make time for you. Hey, I, I hear, and I appreciate it. Yeah, so maybe, so maybe one day we like, I would really love like to first like to plan to see each other in person, like like you come out here or I come to where you are, because I always wanted to visit California. I don't know what California life is like, so maybe you can show me around, or I can show you around my city. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <You're out of control. laughs> okay, they want well we're gonna go, but I appreciate right. you for taking the time. No problem, always, always a pleasure. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, I'll see you next week. I'll be here next week after the show. I'll come in after the show. I'm just letting you know this now that I want to talk to you after the show next week on Monday. Okay, noted. <laughs> so make sure uh some uh so you can send me an email. Okay, no problem. I will. All right. All right. Have a good night. You too, love. Bye. Safe Bye. travels. Have a good time. Thank you. You have a good night. Bye. You too. Bye. The equine is out of control. Out of control. Um, but he's so nice. It's like somebody say pressure applied. He, he, he's doing it for sure. Um Somebody say, Melly, please turn him down. Well, I didn't say yes, right? You guys funny. Wait, uh, I see we, uh, Jose gave me some money. What did you say, Jose? I missed the, fuck, I missed your comment. I can't find it. I can't find it, Jose. I'm sorry, what did you say? Type it now in the comment so I can see. Um, who is this person? Hello. Hello. Hey, Melly, what's up? What's up? How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Nice to be on here with you. Yes, I'm sorry. The, the show is over, so I'm just saying hello before we go. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I just passed, and I passed through earlier to say hello, and um, I didn't stick around, so I just passed it back again to say hello again. Okay. I was on your show. It was actually my second time being on your show. I nice. passed through. Did, did you get to talk to the girl before? Yeah, it was quick, but I was from Trinidad, and she's from um, 
you know, the states. So it's long distance. But you're, oh, you you're live in, in Trinidad right now? I live right now. I'm in in Netherlands. I live between Netherlands and and Trinidad. Okay, that's cool. How often do you stay? Like, um, how much time you spend in each place? Uh, the last six last year, it's been like two months, two months back and forth. Because oh, I, that's I, cool. yeah. And how often you change continents? Uh, I just started, but just it's started. about to be often. Hopefully, it's about to be often. yeah. You gonna check your family more often? Yes, my family, but also um, I go on vacation in different places more often. So, what, what's your choice? What's your first choice? Where are you going first? Mm, it's so many, but uh, so my first choice right now, I just went home. So that was it. You know, I went to uh, France. I'm going to Switzerland and London. But the next one, I want some some uh, good weather. So I'm thinking. Um, somewhere in Thailand. I mean, I don't know about the weather. I need to, to check. Is it always nice? I don't know. Sure. Is there like a, like what's the, what's the a raining season? Cause I'm not going if it's a raining season, you know? So I got to check where is the weather? Like, where is it good right now? So, but I really want to go to Thailand. I want to go, uh, where is this? Uh, I want to go to Bali. I want to do Bora Bora, right. St. Martin. I haven't been to Mexico. I want. I just want to go everywhere. So it's about to be all, stuff like that. You want to go to all the exotic places? Yes. Yeah. So I probably go to Jamaica. I have a friend that lives in Barbados. So I'm. A, I'm gonna try to go everywhere. You didn't mention Trinidad, you know, but that's alright. That's alright. Trinidad. I no, I mean I heard of it, and it, it's it looks nice too. So you know, if I go to Barbados, I probably go to Trinidad too. It's you know. You mix with island? Are you you have like an island vibe kind of finish? Mm -hmm. uh, my my parents are from the island kind of. So my mom is from uh, French Guyana, which is in South America, and uh, my dad is uh, is from the West Indies. He's from Guadeloupe. So. Ah, ah, yeah, you give off that. You know how you know how I can tell how you handle the bridging before. Yeah. How you much you said? Oh, 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 how you, I talk to him. He yeah, felt like the island. Yeah, you handle the pressure like like a real island woman, you know, like polite but still, you know, holding your ground. You know, I respect mm -hmm. that. I try, yeah. I gotta be polite. Yes, I, yes, I. Yeah. And I, I checked out the Melly Motors too. Which which one of your cars you drove is your favorite? First mm -hmm. of all, how you, first of all, how 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 you get into that? Because that's that's you're really breaking stereotypes by by um, you know what I mean. Like yeah, I mean, I always loved cars, and um, I mean, my mom always had like a BMW when I was growing up, and then my uh, my dad was um, or is still actually um, a driving teacher. Really? He had like a driving school because back home it's not the same as in America. It's not like your parents teach you and then you go and drive. It's not like that out here. It's like you go to a real school, take hours and drive car with like a, a teacher and then you go you take the test so i think it's harder because um you know we drive more of like a manuals yeah, yeah. you know the cars so um so you really got to learn how to to drive a manual so i mm -hmm. think that's probably why it's a little more out here when it comes to uh, the driving school and so just because of that it's like um i always love cars and uh that's it. And then I, I got into it. I started, uh, my first car was cool. Then I got another one. I got a BMW. And then I just kept on like, you know, upgrading or trying to upgrade. So, so you're, you're a speeder? A little bit, but out here, you can't do that. Like my mom, she let me borrow her car and she's like, you can't speed out here. Cause they, they have so many, um, I don't know how you call that. Cameras, cameras and stuff. Like yes, that. cameras. And it's it's crazy. I mean, some of them, they tell you they're there. So it's like, if you pay attention, you'll see it's coming. But some of them, they're like mobile. So it's like, if they decide today they want to put one there, they just put it. And I'm like, it's crazy. So you you, you better do the the driving limit because you're going to get it's something in your to get. Yeah. <laughs> in your meal, right? Yeah, they're going to find you. For sure. So, right. or they're going to find my mom because how they do it, you know, they take your license plate and then they just send it to the address. So, <laughs> and my mom is not into that, you know. 
she, won't, she, she still whoop your ass? No. <laughs> I mean, it's too late. She can't hit me now. She used to beat my ass like that. That's she good. Used That's good. Like the, she used to have like whips. What did you say? A spoon? Whips. My mom. My mom is me with a pot spoon. Like I used to get a lot of pot spoon. spoon um, the the broomstick. Like oh, she would hit me with whatever she would find. The the worst was when she would tell me go go get go it. Get it. God. Go, go get it. Go get it. No, but you know, uh, I'll stop. I'll be no. Go get it. Go. <laughs> yeah, my, my my dad used to send me for the belt, and I would go for like this the cheapest cloth belt, like a really soft. <laughs> So that I think like nah brother, you know what you like, yeah, yeah, get a thick leather one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get the, the good one. Why yes, yes. some people say many was abused. It's not abused. I think we I believe that kids sometimes need it. I was a little bad. Yeah. And I think I needed it. At some point it wasn't hurting no more. Or it was hurting, but I was like, ah, I don't care. You know, so she started doing other stuff. Like she started telling me I can't go to practice you know, because I was big into sports. And that's more like what got me. Yeah. Like, you yeah. can't go practice. You can't go uh, to the games. You can't. Uh, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to come down a little bit because that's doing too much. But hitting at some point wasn't doing shit. Yeah, so, for real. For real. When, when they take away your freedom or your passion, you know, you, you really have to calm down. Exactly. All right, all right. So, you, yeah. plan any trips? you plan any trips to Holland while you're in Europe now? Uh, yeah, I'm going to Switzerland and I'm going to England. Well, it's not in Europe no more, but you know. Yeah, I mean, like the Netherlands. You're gonna, you should, you should pass the up Netherlands, the Netherlands. I've been before. I've been. Uh, yeah, uh, I have um, one of my aunts. She lives there, so I used to go like pretty often. Uh, yeah, cool. You ride your bike around too. You ride your bike like how you drive. Uh, I used to have a bike when I was here, but uh, then I never bought another one, so I don't got one right now. Uh, yeah. All right, Just, mm -hmm. you know, it, if you come through Netherlands, you know, hit me up. We could we could hold our vibes. Wait, you say you're not in Netherlands? I am in Netherlands right now. Right now I'm in Netherlands. You say Netherlands? I thought you said Atlanta. I don't know how I heard Atlanta, <laughs> but okay, yeah. you said Netherlands. <laughs> Got you. Uh, I'm close. I'm close by. I'm close by. I'm close by. Mm -hmm. We're in the same okay. continent. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, well, let's come to touch base and, and introduce myself, Stefan. Right? Nice to yes. meet you. Right. Really nice to meet you. I like your vibe. You're really chill. I like your vibration too. I'll, Thank I'll, you. I'll send you a little message sometime if that's okay. You cool with that? Yeah, for sure. Do that. I don't want to apply no pressure, right? <laughs> We're good. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We're good. All right. Have a good All night. Right. Huh? Bless. Thank you. You too. Bye. 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 Stefan was nice. I liked him. Okay. You guys clowning me about what I said about England. Yes. I meant England is not part of the European Union. So that's, that's, but yes, it's still on. Yes. Please and thank you. Um, you guys funny. Trying to clown me for not knowing geography. Um, let me see. Ah, Bilal. Bilal is in the car, per usual. Bilal, I'm going to need to understand why you're... Hello, using... Melanie. 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 Hello. Let me, say... <laughs> Let me say you look very well rested out there in Paris. I haven't slept today. I mean, I woke up at... No. What time? I went to sleep at 7 last night, oh, this morning, 7, and I woke up at 10. Uh, so it's been, and now it's six. It's something in those hazel eyes is just saying that you, something has made you rested. Like, something has made me rested. I don't know what it yeah. is. It's, yeah. So, so, be like, are, are we going to address it? No, what, what I came back for now is to give you, will you be back for Valentine's? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'll be back, but I don't know if I'll be there. I don't know if I won't be gone again. Here's my big suggestion that you have um, a pineapple ball where you invite all the girls that was on the show to okay. come to the ball, right? And they wear the, the name on the uh, little satchel thing, whatever. And 
you have like a speed dating session with the girls so the guys can come and speed date, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, find the one that they find the one that they wanted to talk to on the show. And um, what you think so far? What you think? What you think um, about that? No, what I think it's that? a good idea. I don't know if um, I don't know if I want to organize an event. <laughs> That's you know I'm already yeah you can do it at the forum out there in L.A. Where? Do it big at the forum. The forum. <laughs> that's what to do. What is I'm the just, forum? That's where the L.A. Lakers play, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not. Sure. So that's I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be that big. <laughs> no. Nah. You've had what 200 shows almost 150. Does that mean oh, you have uh, one, 115? How many do you think would show up for the pineapple? I don't know, you know, it's um, the thing is, uh, some of the girls are gonna have dates, you know, so right there, I don't think it, it might be a good idea, you know. Oh, girls have dates usually, you. even if they're not really dating anybody seriously, usually. They're, they're gonna have a date lineup for Valentine's Day. Yeah, for Valentine. Well, let's not lock in to Valentine's Day then. Let's just lock in the speed Another. dating at the Pineapple Ball. I don't know. I I, um, I hear, but I have. I think I kind of have a fear of uh, hosting events. I always, <laughs> even I think that's the same fear I had for my birthday. I never uh, wanted to organize something where people have to show up, you know, because if they don't show up, it's like the event is has failed, you know. So that's a lot of pressure. I know I would be stressed just to make sure that people show up, that it's a success and all of that. And I, I don't think putting up an event in person is is my thing. I mean, I haven't really tried, so I shouldn't say it's not my thing. But I know it's going to stress me. So I'm not trying to be mm-hmm. more stressed. Yeah, because you probably have to fly them all out, too, you know. They was yeah, and we're not doing that. That's a fact. Uh, a lot of different places, not just L.A. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people will show up, I think. A lot of people. Hey, I mean, maybe. Uh, it's, it's the same as uh, why I haven't done a meet and greet. I, I'm just feeling like I don't know if people would come, you know, if people would fly in, because it's like America is so big. So I don't know if people are going to fly in just to come meet me or come for an event, whatever. So it's, oh. I don't know, it's risky. And I don't know, I'd be scared. No, I think you should do it. Because what are your actual actual views? Because it said like a thousand people watching, it isn't like 10,000. What, what do you mean? For your viewers, like the live, is it only a thousand people watching or is it more? Right now it's a thousand. During the show, it goes, it depends. Yeah, it's, I think maybe. It's between 15 and 22, 23. Because I think you guys only see the numbers from like wherever you're watching. So if you're watching on YouTube, you only see the number, how many are on YouTube. But if you're watching from Facebook, it only shows you how many people are on Facebook. So so mm. I see everywhere. So it's always a little a little more than what you see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I came on the show for Felicia. Uh, uh, did you talk to her? Yeah, yeah, I said you can see me. And she pineapple me because I, I was uh, unsealed. Well, so are we going to address it? Why are you always in the car? <laughs> because of the heat, you know. And I'm Native American and black, so we kind of like being outdoors. And that's what we, me and her had in common. Felicia, if you out there, I Did know that. Did you the DMs? <laughs> No, I don't do the DMs. You don't do that. Yeah. But uh. But, but wait. Okay. So you're saying it's too hot in the house, so you stay in the car. No, it's not too hot in the house. It's just I like being outdoors, like I said. I 
outdoors and it wasn't but, no but you're in the car stories of uh baby mama with sick kids none of that i just like being in the car well okay. well they, they don't believe you so i don't know they say you're hiding <laughs> they say those are excuses is lying when you uh, just get off work when you just get off work you just want to relax i do it in nature and that's just me i guess okay. but yeah i just wanted to come drop that uh suggestion for the pineapple ball because i would definitely show up in la or Atlanta. Where, are where are you located right now i'm in arizona oh that's not too far for you yeah Okay. I drove up to San Francisco for New Year's Eve. Nice. So I, I was passing through, but I don't do all that uh, IG, so I didn't know how to contact you. I thought mm -hmm. I might see you on the PCH in that, uh, what's that? You had the McLaren. Mm hmm. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. What was the top speed you got on that? On the McLaren, I mean, I, I can't go too fast because um, where I'm uh, renting the car or where they're yeah, allowing yeah. me to get the car, um, we got the boat jack. It's on the street, so it's like I can just do like so much, and uh, you know, I'm not trying to to put some more miles on their cars and stuff like that. So you know, I just appreciate them allowing me to get their cars. So, so yeah, yeah. but yeah, I'd be pushing it real quick, but. Nothing too crazy. So yeah, you can't be pushing mm -hmm. it to two hundred. You know. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Even I, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that with somebody else's car. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, let me but see. Yeah. Some, some people have have question. Um. So can we go inside the house right now? Can we go inside the house right now? No, we can't. How long have you been outside? I've been outside since 30 minutes. I was trying to catch up to your show, but then I saw you ended it with a girl. I'm like, let me go, let me go give her my suggestion on the pineapple ball. Okay. And well, I appreciate the idea. Who knows? Pine app ball. You see what I'm saying? I like the name. I like the name, but you're funny, pineapple ball. I'm done with you. I was I like, I like the name, and now I just got it. So, <laughs> uh, it wasn't no joke. It wasn't no fruity joke. I was just saying, pineapple ball. Oh, uh, okay. It's it's not a <laughs> joke. Okay. Well, we'll we'll think about it. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to see a movement on that, okay? And uh, Felicia, yes. uh, I'm trying to get at her. I'm trying okay. to get at her. I, I'll tell her. I'll tell her. Okay. Uh, I'll come I, back on her. Yes. Maybe I'll bring her back at some point, and then at this point, you're going to yeah, have... give us an update on Felicia. Yes. Okay. All right, Bilal. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Good night in Paris. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> Bilal is funny. Bilal, there is something about Bilal. I, I know you guys don't believe him. I don't believe him. There is some. There is something. I don't know what Bilal is hiding from us, uh, but there is something. We'll find out one day. Let me see Jamal. Hey, Jamal. How are you doing, Nelly? Good. How are you? Good, good, good. How's your trip going? It's going good. Really good. That's good. That's good. I like yeah. your hair. Oh, thank you. Nice. What you doing? Smoking, oh, I saw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you relaxing? Yeah, pretty much, you know, just enjoying the show. Thank you. Where are you located? Brooklyn. Brooklyn, okay. So it's a little late. It's, what, 12 now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it 12? Yes. Yeah, it's 12.04. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... Is it Go ahead. Huh? I'm Go not ahead. really trying to stay on here long, but I just wanted to say I, I've been following you for a little minute, and 
be honest, I, I really like your your mindset. You know, I really like the way that you think. Like for a female, you you think more logically. You know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, it was nice talking to you. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, you have a good night, Jamal. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs> oh, sending me kisses. <laughs> Thank you. I like kisses. Um, I thought you were tired and you were going to sleep. <laughs> oh, you're going to lick your lips. <laughs> what are you doing? Listen to music. Oh, uh, you you got off YouTube? I'm on YouTube still. Oh, still. Okay. Well, well, I I let you get back to what you're doing. Alright, alright, <laughs> alright. Uh, okay, guys, we're gonna go. It's been three hours. It's six in the morning here. Let me say hi to Yam. Hey, Yam. Hey, I would I would uh, tell you be my Valentine, but day one. Here come get they, they go on. I need to go with him. Oh Lord! Here come. I, I don't know if I'll go with Daquan. What day is Valentine's Day? I don't think it's on a. Cause last year I had a pineapple show on Valentine's Day. Oh, for real? So for for the guys, and I was like, damn, we can't, we can do. It, it didn't work, but. Um, yeah, I think. Hold on. I don't. I think it's a Thursday or something. It's not a, a Monday or or a Wednesday. Okay. Let's see. February fourteenth. It's a Tuesday. So. Yeah. Uh, do you do you do Valentine's Day? Um. No. I mean, if I have a dude and he wants to do something, we can. But I don't really care. Yeah. I don't be caring for stuff like that. I don't even care about like really birthdays and. Like to do something special, it's like yeah, I'm gonna tell you and be like, oh, it's my birthday, you know. But uh, if we don't do nothing, I'm cool too. Like we can stay in the house, watch movies, uh, stuff my face, and I'm good with that. Just eat. That's what you. Yeah, I need to eat. I see. <laughs> I mean, that's me every day. So I guess, <laughs> you know. So what? What French food like? Um. I, you know, I can't really even, I mean, I know there's like some dishes that I really like, but yeah. uh, my mom is from the, um, uh, South America. So she yeah. cooks like, she's been cooking actually, you know, I don't know if you know, I'm home. I'm in France right now. Okay. Yeah. So, so my mom has been cooking, like I'm getting a little chunky over here, but I'm like, Hey, I haven't had her food in like so long. And I'm like, I'm going to be eating that. That's what I'm going to do. When you say, so what she cook is more like um, West Indian food. Oh, okay, West Indian. Okay. Yeah. So. What, so that's that. What is that? Uh, I don't even know what type of food that is. Is that? A it's like uh, think about. Um, uh, I mean, I'm gonna give you the Jamaican food. That's you know, like a uh, jerk chicken and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Oxtail, yeah, that's what my mom be cooking. So it's it's out of control. Damn. That's yeah, it's good. Oh. What you said? I said I love your mom. Yeah, my mom be cooking like all three meals. I'm like, lady, I don't eat that much. Like not that often. Usually I eat once a day, but with her it's like, no, eat, eat, eat. And I'm like, yes, yes. I take that shit. Yeah. So I like it. That's weird. Sure. Yeah. yeah. How was it? Uh, did you train today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How was it? Um, uh, I had to slow down. I actually kind of uh, fucked up my right hand. I think I uh, fractured. Oh. So, yeah. So I'm just training with the left. Wait, mm -hmm. how did you do that? On somebody in the head. Like while training? Yeah, but see, like the, we went to we went to go spa, and what people do is they'll lean into it because your hand will break before somebody's skull will break. So they mm -hmm. actually 
leaned into it while you know you're punching and shit. But you're not wearing gloves when you do that. Wear well, gloves, but that that but don't still? really. Yeah, that don't stop too much. Really? Still not. Mm -mm. I thought you were uh, uh, protected when you wear the gloves. No, I mean that's that's for the like the skin for real, so you don't like. How you say? So you don't cut. You don't get like, yeah. Damn. Okay. Well, I hope your hand is okay. It is cool. Either way. Okay. Yes. When are, when are you having a fight? Have you been fighting? Uh, so I'm not. I didn't go pro yet, so I'm still amateur. So we still like got little spars and shit like that, but. Yeah. So you don't fight when you're not pro. So like. You, you have technical like technical fights, but mm -hmm. you like headgear on. Y'all still like, yeah, like when you go pro, that's when you, all the headgear and everything come off. And it's cool. yeah, how yeah. long until you go pro? Oh, is that still possible? What's up? Uh, I'm seeing now, to be honest. So okay, um, yeah. When will you know? Is there a deadline or something? Well, right now I'm just I'm trying to check my hand for real. It's been it's been about a week, so I've been just training pretty much like I said with my left hand. So I'm just trying to see. We're gonna wait till some shit, uh, wait till it heal back up for a little bit. Yeah. Okay, can we see um, some skills? Like, can you do some? Uh, can you show us? <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible? I don't know. I'm asking. Would you want me to get up and get the like shadow box? Like uh, something. I don't know. I'm not about to get up and do that. But why not? Um, we want to see your speed. Are you fast? Uh, I'm quick. Yeah. I think uh, I got a what's it called? I'll put I'll put something on IG. Um, people can follow me on IG. I'll put something on IG. How about? You can you can shadow box? No, I got like videos and shit. Okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna get up and get the why not? <laughs> no, nah, I'm cool on all that. Yeah, I'm funny as hell. Nah. Okay, what's your IG? Is there videos on your IG? No. Nah. I put some up. That's what I, was, I just said I'll put some up. Okay, okay, so next time you come, you, you those videos need to be up and then we're gonna go watch them. Okay. I got homework now. You what? I got homework now. You just said you're gonna do it. I'm just. I didn't know I was like. I know I said I would, but I didn't know we was gonna come back on and watch it and everything. Okay, you don't gotta come back on. I, I'll, I, I'll remember to go watch with all of us without you. That's fine. You don't gotta be with us. <laughs> we'll watch. So I. I'll just. Wait, I'll just wait until I see the videos. I, I was being playful. That's all it was. I wasn't. So you're gonna come, and then we're gonna be able to watch the videos together. That's cool. Cool. <laughs> all right, yeah. For well, sure. Girl, good night. <laughs> what you said? I said for sure. <laughs> all right. Why you're laughing? You don't want to show us your skill. I don't know if. I mean, maybe it's me and being competitive, but if I know I, I whoop ass in something, I have no issue showing, you know? No, no, no. I was I was just being, like, playful a little bit when I said, like, oh, I got homework now. I was just being playful. Okay. Okay, got you. So, well, uh, we will wait to see the videos. All right, for sure. I can't, can't wait. Can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Good morning or bonjour. And good night. Yep. I mean, it's still going to be good night because I'm going to go to sleep. I feel it. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. All right, guys, we're going to go. Uh, somebody say something nice. Uh, thank you. Um hey we're gonna we're gonna see what, what he does. Hey, I wanna see. Um what you guys talking about? Maybe he's a troll with all these weak ass guys, she out the league. 
in so many ways, no chance. What are you talking about? Guys, I tell you all the time, nobody is out of your league. It's in your mind. Um, all right, we're going to go. We guys, we're out. Oh, wait, I wanted to talk to him real quick. Hello. Because you got pineapple kind of quick tonight. Oh, well, he said, fuck you. I'm not talking to you. And uh, let's see Chibs real quick. Hey, Melly. Hi. Um, I'm, how you doing? I got a low battery. I wanted to talk to Yam, but maybe next time. The battery is <laughs> not going to sustain me. So I got a word of information for you, Melly. It's yes. all quick. Will Smith once said, talent you have naturally. Skill is all developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. When Sataris is sleeping, Melly is working. When chemistry is eating, Melly is working. When Brenda is playing, Melly is working. Denzel Washington once said, to get something you never heard, you have to do something you never did. He also said, dreams without goals are just dreams and the full disappointment. Goals on the road to achievement cannot be achieved without discipline and consistency. Melly, I tell you, without commitment, you can never stand. More importantly, without consistency, you can never finish. Period. What's Melly's love language? Shower her with gift. Spoil her with love. Inspire her with words. Shower her with gift. Spoil her with words. Love. Inspire her with words. So, Melly, you got to remember it. Shower her with gift. Spoil her with love. Inspire her with words. That's your motto now. Is it? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Shower her with gift. Spoil her with love. Inspire her with words. That's Melly's motto. Not okay. motto. Not motto. Motto. M O T T O. M O T T O. Yes. Motto. Shower yes. her with gift. Spoil her with love. Inspire her with words. <laughs> yes. Well, hey, wait. Yam is here. No, I got a long back. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. See, yeah, I got hey, a little battery. Hey, real quick, before you do all okay. that, give her all that. I got something for you, yeah. It, it's from R. Kelly. I believe you can fly. Yeah. yeah I believe you can touch the sky. You think about it every night and day. Every night. You spray your wings and fly you where. Well. Yeah. I believe you can soar. Yeah. I see you running through the rope and yeah. I believe you can fly. Okay, see what? <laughs> say hello to Michael Jordan in Chicago for me. You're from Chicago. I got something from Michael Jordan. It's a commercial for all the music legend, potential music legend, potential actors and actress, music legend, baseball, boxing, golf, anyone. We got uh, potential inventors, potential Wall Street gurus. Michael Jordan said this in the commercial, Nike commercial. He says, maybe it wasn't his fault. Maybe it wasn't his fault to let you believe it was easy when it wasn't. Maybe it was for me to think his highlight like started at the free throw line and not in the gym. That his game was built on flash and not fire. Maybe it was for it made you fail to realize that failure gave him strength. That his pain was motivation. Maybe he made you believe that basketball was a God-given talent and not something he worked for every single day of his life. Or maybe he destroyed the game. Maybe he's just making excuses. Go for it, yeah. I see you at the top, man. Hey, man, come on. Hey, risky for the biscuit, baby. That's all we got is one life. Come on. Pardon? I said risky for the biscuit, baby. That's all we got is one life. You feel? Yeah. You're a boxing star. You're in Chicago. Am I right? Chicago. Yeah. Say hello to Michael Jordan for me. Hey, look. So I got a funny story for you. When we was kids, there's this place called Gwendolyn Brooks. It's a school. And uh, Wait, Michael Jordan, and R we went to go see Michael Jordan and R. Kelly play soccer. No, Michael Jordan is from Chicago. Am I right? I think no. Michael Jordan is from Chicago. From where? Not. He actually born in New York. That's what's crazy. Pardon? He was born in New York. And he oh, but he lives in there. Chicago or something. He lives in Chicago or something. Yeah, he got. He a, lives in uh, Chicago. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, but but I had him talk about that before. So yeah, look, I had him talk about that. So we went to go see Michael Jordan and R. Kelly play uh, softball. Long story short, uh, R. Kelly was pitching. He ain't throw no strikes. He told R. Kelly, "Quit throwing like a bitch." So. No, we, we I think our Kelly's song got, just inspired people. So you say what? Remember, our Kelly is a convict or something. Am I right? He's a convict. Hey, look, 
Ain't. Yeah, yeah, but we we don't like support. We don't support that. I'm just saying. I just like his songs are inspirational. He has a. I believe I can fly. Storm is over. So those songs are inspirational. We don't support. Um, um we we don't support Demino. Um, misnomer. <laughs> we don't support any misnomer or wrong behavior. He was convicted, so I don't know. But his songs are inspirational, so that's it. I feel it. And where, where are you at? I'm in West Africa, God. But I've been to Houston. I've been to Maryland. I've been okay. to Maryland, Houston, Tennessee, and Virginia. I've been my, there. My people, yeah. Yoruba. I was actually supposed to be going there in about a month or two. Nigeria. Pardon? I said my people are Yoruba. I was supposed to be Yeah, going. I schooled in the UK, so I know London very well. I know yeah. London very well. But, you know, yeah, you just follow me. Follow me. My Instagram handle is Official Chips Inspire. It's YouTube, Instagram, um, Facebook. Twitter is Chips Inspire. So anyone you're on, so hold on. just follow me. While we on here, you gotta you gotta give Melly a poem for uh for uh what what's the say for Valentine. You, you gotta give Valentine. Me. You said what? You gotta give Melly a poem for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm gonna surprise Melly. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm full of surprises. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> yeah. Who am I? So so keep working hard, man. You know, you know, you know, Mike Tyson is the pro of boxing then, not now. He used to be the pro of my, uh, boxing. So I got, <laughs> I hope he got real motors. Until he was knocked out by Evan the Holyfield. <laughs> he was knocked out. <laughs> he was knocked out by Evan the Am I right? Holyfield knocked him out and he beat his ear or something. Am I right? No, actually, actually, he got disqualified from that fight. But uh, some no name guy actually knocked Mike Tyson out first. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but 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 yeah, I see you at the top. Just keep working hard. And you know, Melly, Melly was telling you to show your skills. You never know whom I'll be watching. Oh, you uh -huh. know, yeah, you never know. She was telling you to show your skills, show some boxing. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do this, bro. <laughs> okay, take care, man. Bye. Bye. You guys are out of control. Out of fucking control. <laughs> she has had the audacity to ask him, do you know Mike Tyson? <laughs> I'm like, I hope so. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, guys, we're leaving. Uh, somebody said, maybe you're about to fall out and go to sleep. Yes, I am going to sleep. Um, no, and... Somebody needs to tell Chibs. I know I got an accent too, but Chibs, we say Chicago. Not Chicago. I, I don't know what he said, but it's Chicago. <laughs> Chibs is out of control. Look, somebody want to work out? Okay. okay. <laughs> you guys be out of control. <laughs> we are living. It is enough. We are living. Melly loving this. Yes, I like it. It's funny, I think. You don't think it's funny? All right, I, we're leaving, guys. I appreciate you for being here. It's been a, yeah, three and a half hours. Yeah, we've been here. Um, <laughs> you guys need to stop. Uh, but we are leaving for real this time. And um, what else? That's it. That's it. We're just leaving. I don't even know what to say. We're going, uh, we're coming back live on uh, Monday and Wednesday. It won't be a show tomorrow. It won't be a show next Thursday, but still we're doing the pineapple shows for sure. And uh, hopefully when we come back for the talent show, I'll have somebody really good for you. <clears throat> so this is what to do when hosts are late. Host? Was I the host or the guest? I wasn't late. Uh, Chip, somebody say Chips versus Daquan versus Hot Boy triple fight for Melly. No, I don't know what happened to Hot Boy. We haven't seen him in a while. No, actually, I'm lying. He came to the talent show not too long ago. I, mean, I'm, I don't know. I don't remember. All right, guys, I appreciate you, and uh, I'll see you um, on Monday for the next Pineapple Show. If not, you can check me out on, uh, you know, I'm still dropping those daily videos um on on my channel and uh, i'll try to post a little more on instagram about what i'm doing but it's been just so much i'll make a whole video of my trip when the the channel 
the traveling channel is set up. But um, okay, somebody has been liking the last few girls. Me too. Um, oh, okay. I see some people have a uh, hard boy was in an ambulance. Really? I hope he's good. Um, yes, but, but we're going to go. All right, guys, I appreciate you. And uh, I'll talk to you next week. Good night or good morning, whichever. Bye.